welcome to the Horrible Gamers Podcast, the show for gamers by gamers. Today I am joined by four fine gentlemen. They are Brink of Eternity. What's up? Captain Hook. What's up? They call me Iams. Howdy. And Taran and Z. Hello, how are you? And uh, how you guys been? I mean, how's your week been in gaming? And uh, how's it going? How you guys been? I mean, it's been a while. Episode two, guys. You guys it's been feel at least ready? A week, man. Yeah, it feels like like seven days or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed y'all. Like, it's been a long I time. Like I've missed y'all. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I really, I really haven't gamed with none of you guys since last true. week. I mean, nobody's been gaming. Yeah, had no time for it. Been doing this. I think we don't. I think we don't even game anymore. We've been too busy with this uh, podcast stuff. I think I've gamed with uh, Sean a couple or uh, Imes a couple times this week, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. Playing Timefall. Yeah. I pretended to game with Imes and Taran today. Yeah, <laughs> but we didn't actually game. We just sat there in a party for like an hour and a half. <laughs> We thought we yeah, thought pretty good about it. We kicked some good ass and drew no thoughts. But we, if we were gaming, we would have been ass kicking. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. I actually got to play uh, PS4 for the first time this week. So wow, really? You oh. like that? Yeah, I went up to my friend's uh, my friend's house. He had a PS4. We sat down and played uh, Towerfall. I guess it was. It was free. Uh, yeah, the- power- Towerfall. Towerfall. Yeah, it's. I guess it's free. Just like Titanfall, but with power. No, it's uh, Tower. Tower. Oh. Oh, you falling towers? No, you're yeah. like an archer, and it's like a like an old pixelated game, and uh, you go through these things. And uh, we played for a couple hours at helping him beat it. But I mean, it was cool. It was a lot of fun. It's couch it co-op, fun. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a real fun couch co-op game. I've heard that from a lot of people. That it's just fun. Yeah, and nice. I think he said it was free, so you might no, want to check it out. It's like Even fifteen better. bucks. Think. Sounds good. Um, I've been playing a lot of Tomb Raider this week. Actually, that's what I was been really all I played was Tomb Raider. I really want to get into that multiplayer. I hear good things about it. Some people like it. Some people hate it. You know, I think everybody's been playing Titanfall a lot lately. I kind of uh, played some of it this week, but not too much. Well, the problem with Tomb Raider was it, it was fun. It's a lot of fun the multiplayer, but on the 360 when I when I played it when it came out March of last year, it was really buggy. Was it? Yeah, it was super buggy. That was the issue. But I still played and got to, I think, level 52 or 53. I mean, I put some hours wow. into it. But it's... It fun. plays... is a fun weapon. Yeah. It plays really well on the Xbox One. The problem is nobody's playing it. Mm. Really? Yeah. That sucks, man. Then again, no, I'm really trying at like sucks. three in the morning when nobody's online. So, I just don't think people want to play with you. I think that, that could also that be true. Be the thing. Like, oh hell no, nah. hell <laughs> no. Nah. Or is everybody too busy playing Titanfall? Uh, that game seems like it takes, it's taking yeah. up everybody's time. I mean, no my time. It's crazy. Well, like I said last week, you know, there's not out of the love, not I don't, nothing else really out right now that I wanna wanna play. Good to get on mm. Titanfall and play a couple of games. Yeah. So you guys want to play some Titanfall? <laughs> yeah, you want yeah. to Can you pause this real quick? Oh, yes, man. I'm back all hyped up. Some Titanfall? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, um, like I said, you know, for the community, you know, we've been working really hard updating everything from the website to what people can listen to us on. And uh, I believe that now we're on iTunes, Stitcher, Windows Phones. Uh, YouTube, we're on the website. So basically, we're on a lot of things, and uh, we're continuing to try to expand our catalog for people to listen to us on. Um, you know, do you guys plan on getting us on anything else? I mean, um, Hook, Rob, you guys have any plans for expanding it even more? Uh, we're looking. We're looking at Twitch. We're just gonna look at how we do that and, and how we how we want to achieve it because that basically means we'll be going live and well so we're ready for live it's just a matter of figuring out how it all works properly yeah, if so any just sort of set the listeners are you guys ready to see our ugly mugs as we mm. 
Because I'm barely ready to look yeah. at these four dudes. Yeah. And, you know, possibly Tragic, who couldn't be this year, be here this week, but he'll be here uh, hopefully next week. But I'm, I barely can look at you guys, man. Um, <laughs> I, I, it's going to change I'll, lives. It is. <laughs> it really is. It gets very, it gets very deep sometimes, and you may need a bath bucket, but you know, you'll be right. Yeah. <laughs> need a <Yeah>. shovel, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I mean, if you, if if the community wants us to be on Twitch, we could try and figure out a way to do it, and we'll probably figure it out. You know, we figured out this. We've got this far, guys, and we don't know <laughs> shit about this. I mean, I'm surprised. I am surprised we're even here right now recording episode two. To be honest. We started sounding yeah. like we started sounding like professionals before. We we're having a conversation, and all this tech talk started coming out. We sounded like we knew what we we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was yeah. doing. What the fuck? <laughs> and hey, then we realized wanna, who we were. Do you want to yeah. let the listeners know where where Tragic is? Uh, he is uh, right now being tortured by a evil corporation. They're making him work. Poor Tragic. You know, we keep him in our prayers. Um, yeah. Yeah, right, quick, right. quick, <laughs> quick ten seconds of silence. Of Actually, Tragic is at work, guys. He is working the corner for us right now, <laughs> making as much money as he can for the podcast, so we can bring it to the listeners. He's dedicated, very dedicated. Yeah, we didn't actually, yeah. you know, we didn't tell him that, but <laughs> give him a shout out when you guys see him on the community. You know, when you see him on the corner, give him a shout out. Be like, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Of the tip them. Remember uh, to tip them. That's that's the important thing. Speaking of the community, if any any listeners are out there, join our Facebook group. Just search Horrible Gamers with a Z. Just search us on Facebook. Join that community. You can send us questions. You know, on the show we'll read them. Uh, you you know, talk to us. You know, we try to stay as involved with people as we can. So the more uh, chat, you know, talk on there, questions, all that stuff. The more we can keep busy, the better. Yeah, and on the feedback, we've been getting a lot of good feedback from a lot of the listeners, you know, and we appreciate that feedback, and uh, we'll continue to try to improve the show. I mean, we we can only do so much at a time, but, you know, we'll take everything into consideration. Um, a lot of people have been saying, you know, that they like the show, they like the way it goes, the way it sounds. The truth is, people, we don't really have a script when we record this. We just go. We just go. I mean, fuck, we just talk. <laughs> That's all we really we were, that's all we're doing, to be honest. And uh we don't really follow much of a script. Uh I know that blows your mind, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, wait, wait. It hey, sounds Ross, it sounds like we're following a script, but Ross, we're not. Wait, wait, hold on, go back. Scroll back a little bit because you just went off the script that we had. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry about Actually, that. You're on, you're on, you're perfect. Don't follow the script. Oh, there you go. You're on. Oh, there we go. Damn. Fuck, it's part two right there. Shit. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, I mean, go listen to us on whatever you want to listen to us to. I mean, we appreciate it. Um, all right, guys, so what do you guys want to talk episode about? Two. I, I would like to say something. Um, the music you hear at the beginning, um, my good friend uh, Bobby Hicks uh, made that for us and put it up so we could put it up. He's working on some intro and outro music for you. So, uh, I just wanted to give him a shout-out real quick and thank him for doing that. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. When we say Bobby Hicks, can we like just say every time like Bobby Hicks? Like, <laughs> just, you know, because it sounds like it should be said like that. Bobby. <laughs> We're not doing the name justice if we just say it regular. You know? Me and him have been friends since middle school. Been through a lot together. He's, uh, um, you know, he's he's doing a bunch of music. So hopefully we can get him out out there and maybe y'all can listen to some of uh, his music he's written. So. Hey, you know what? I seriously want to sing along with that. It's been in my head all day since I heard it earlier. So it's all good. Right. It's catchy. That's what matters. It's catchy. Yeah. It's fun. I'm going to have the I'm sing along segment. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to do sing alongs. Uh, I'm going to do a little sing along segment. It's not going to be very good. It's going to be, I'll tell you where it's at so you can skip over it when you're listening. <laughs> so, um, wh- what have you guys been playing this week? Other than Titan, oh, yeah, Mass Effect that we tried to play, which was, which was awesome. We couldn't even Too get late. connected. I had to delete um, corrupted data and try to re-download all that stuff, and we couldn't get anybody into a game. But we but tried. Jesus. All that matters. Jesus, where are you at in Tomb Raider? Uh, in Tomb Raider, I'm in that part when you're in that little shanty town. You know, when you go into a little helicopter and you have to get some 
first aid or some oh, okay. shit. Okay, you crash into the town. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that one, that part. When you're going through the mountains, parachuting, you know. Is this your first time yeah, playing it? No, it's actually my third time oh, playing okay. it. Yeah, it's just the thing is, you know, I get on, I get on Tomb Raider. And all of a sudden, I'm getting invites from everybody to go play Titanfall, and I'm like, fuck, you know, I'm like, I really should go play Titanfall. So I go and I play Titanfall, and I never get back to Tomb Raider. It's, I've been playing this thing for like three weeks now, and I can't beat it. And it's just because... You're just a horrible gamer, see? That's what yeah, I mean, it is. <laughs> I'm not good at this shit. I've been wanting to go back to Battlefield, but I mean, it's just it's not working out. The thing might be is it's your third time playing it, so... Easy to get distracted. Because that first time playing Tomb Raider is just mind-blowing. personally thought, you know. I didn't yeah. want to leave that world. Fun times. It is. It's a good game. Very fun times. It's, there's a, lot, there's a lot, lot going on for you, and you really get to see um, the making of what becomes Lara Croft. Because you see her right at the very beginning when she's very vulnerable in life. A very different person to, to the Lara that you get to know later in other games and, and wherever you see her. It's quite quite an interesting seeing her pro- progress from that that arc of whatever she is, what, whatever that word is, where she's exploring and, and being all about um, her information and gathering and stuff and turning into a killer. It's quite emotional when you go through that stuff with her, I think. Would you say she's an explorer? Maybe. There's a word. <laughs> she's like a... A tomb raider? Gonna, a tomb raider. Yeah, would you say she raids tombs? Man, you can play my mind. <laughs> I like the first time you use a gun, and it's kind of hard to aim. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? When you get that gun, you pick it up, and you you have to, you have to shoot that guy. You know, she doesn't want to shoot him. I, mm. I don't understand that. Aim on him. See, and then all of a sudden, she kills five him. seconds later, she's killing you everybody. kill 50 people. She's got yeah. blood yeah. all over her face and stuff. Her eyes yeah. are killing. You don't give a fuck anymore. You just start stabbing people in the neck with fucking arrows. Kill them for so who cares? Reason. Hey, also, yeah. killers have that very first kill, man, when they're not too sure about it. And once you get the... You get that taste of blood, nothing. Really? You're yeah. starting to scare me, yeah, man. man. You're starting to scare me. Hey, 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 calm down. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never, I've never <laughs> experienced this. Well, there was that one time at band camp where I just had... <laughs> I sometimes throw dirt in people's faces and then stab them in the knee with an arrow. And then kick him, yeah. hit him in the head with a rock or something? I don't know. Everybody has their own thing, yeah. I guess. It just happens. It's normal. Tomb Raider, though, it it is, in my opinion, just about the perfect game. I mean, it's beautiful. The story is really interesting. The gunplay feels good and tight. The platforming is great. The cl- like, I actually enjoy climbing that game, and I normally hate that mm-hmm. kind of shit. It drives me nuts. But I just that game just completely sucks me in, and I, I can't get enough of it. Have you played any of the Uncharted games on the PlayStation? I played Uncharted 2, and that's it. And it, it was a fantastic game. Uncharted. Do you, would you, would, do you prefer Uncharted over Tomb Raider, or you prefer Tomb Raider over Uncharted? That's tough. Because I... Uncharted is, I mean, people always talk about Uncharted, but they, you think Uncharted, and you think all oh, the climbing, man. That's basically yeah. what you think when you think about that game. I would have to go with Tomb Raider just because it's it's a it's a little bit darker, and like a little more gritty and... and I just found it a little more interesting, but they're both amazing games. That's good. Yeah, well, who's better, Laura Croft or Nathan Drake? Obviously, it's gonna be that's a good question. But what I was thinking is they should have a Laura Croft and Nathan Drake co-op game. Co-op game. A baby. They should have a baby. <laughs> yeah, they had a baby. <laughs> they had, and that baby had a game. Uh, I think it would be a lot of fun. I mean, it'll, it'll never happen, but what if it did? You know what I'm saying? It'd be a little crazy. would end. That's what would happen. Yeah, man. Fuck you mean if it did happen. That shit would be crazy. Well, I have news here. Breaking news. (laughs) (laughs) Horrible Gamers Podcast um, exclusive. (laughs) It says Uncharted and uh, Tomb Raider game will never happen. (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. That sucks. Have Have you had a game of the multiplayer yet? Jesus? I haven't I haven't tried it at all. Even though when I had it, you know, on the PlayStation Three and on the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, I never tried it. I just, it just never appealed to me. It's uh, it's real similar, like in regards to play style as a single player. I mean, you're running around, climbing up st- uh, 
a big part of it is traps, actually. Like, you can set these um, lightning rod traps, and people will, will trip them when they walk by and get shocked, and uh, trip lines and all, all kinds of, of uh, Indiana Jones-type shit. It's yeah, pretty it's like fun. like Indiana Jones multiplayer. Zip lining all over the place. That's good shit, man. And if you're good, you use the bow. One hit kills. One hit kills. Is that a cheater weapon? Do you consider that a cheater weapon? A what weapon? Do you, do you, do you consider it a cheater weapon? Because uh, it's almost a one hit kill every time, right? No, because it takes skill. I mean, I've tried to do it. I can't hit nothing. So when I get hit by it, I'm like, oh, you, good job. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I see. Well, yeah. Has anybody played anything else this week? Well, you know what? I was playing Dragon's Crown on the PS3. I know it's a little bit late for that. It came out in August, but... It's what actually, the fuck is that? I thought we talked game. about it's that. A, it's a Vanillaware game. It's just like a, a side-scrolling beat-em-up slash dragons and sorcerers and uh, warriors. and It's it's a lot of fun. It, the only problem I have with it is got to keep going back to the same areas and doing quests like just by going back to the same areas. But I know a lot of people liked it. So I'm just, I game fly it because I got that game fly uh, join, join for a, a dollar. So I had him send that to me and I've been playing that today before I'm going to get into it. I tried um, Final Fantasy 14: A Realm Reborn. I got the early access code. I, I uh, pre-ordered from uh, Best Buy to get that pre-access code. I spent about two fucking hours trying to get that. I had to get signed up with Square Enix, get an account, <laughs> get on, <laughs> download the... the <laughs> I Damn. played about 30 minutes. I'm like, I'm good, man. It, it's a lot of fun. If you want to go into a game just have endless uh, side quests, I guess this is the game for you, but... I, I really just it was way too complicated for me. I got a simple mind and I can't I can't deal with all that. So I had to I've never played, played a single Final Fantasy game. Yeah, me either. This is the first experience, but I know this is not what a Final Fantasy is all about. This is more of an MMO. So you're going in there's about 100 people trying to do the same quest. Um I know a lot of people are probably excited for it cuz it comes out Tuesday and um if if that's your type of game, I see how it'd be a lot of fun. But I'm just not used to that style of game. So when I went into it, I was just confused, and I knew if I was gonna buy it, which it's only like forty bucks, but if I was gonna get into it, then I'd have to kind of drop everything to play that and just stick with it because it's got a twelve dollar, I think it's twelve bucks a month subscription fee. Fuck. Does it- What's up with these games, man? They mm. all these subscription fees. I don't like that. You know, on consoles, that shit. I don't know, it's not normal. And they're trying to push this with this new generation, and I think it's shit. Well, I don't understand if you're already paying for Xbox Live. Why do you have to that's, pay that's, another that's, that's what gets me, you know, and, and it's like, Microsoft's getting all that money. Why doesn't Microsoft just kick the company a few, you know, a few of those dollars and say, make it free for our players, you know? Or better yet, you already that. paid $60 for the game. Yeah. And you want to pay another 20 bucks a month? No, I'm not doing yeah. it. But you know, it's already out on the PC, and they got the subscription model going already, so... But on PC, it's always been, like, it's always been normal, you know, to have that subscription. You know, ever since World of Warcraft came out, a show a long time ago, and it's always been like that. They're used to it on, on PC. People are used to playing the games and paying 15 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, 10 bucks a month. The, the games are cheap. cheaper, too, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Okay, so... are a lot cheaper than console. You think they're just going to let it go free for the console players and then still charge the PC players? That's going to cause more commotion, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it's nah. it <laughs> okay, so when Elder Scrolls happen. comes out, I, I'm going to play it, and I'll probably play Elder it. Scrolls. Yeah. Elder Scrolls. Yeah. So when that comes out, you get that 30, 30 day free subscription. I'll play that. But, you know, uh, I'm definitely going to do that. So I don't know if I'm going to go into, like, a third month. To be honest, I don't know. That That's uh, another payment on a game I might not be putting well, much time into. Well, lately I've been looking at a lot of the videos on Elder Scrolls, you know, on the PC, the games, you know. And people have been putting up a lot of videos lately. And the thing is, 
that shit looks fun. To me, it looks really fun, you know, having three big factions fighting in one huge map. I think it's up to 2,000 players on a map at a time. You get all your friends on there, you know, you can have all your friends on there, basically. And that shit looks awesome. It looks fun. You're, you're attacking castles and keeps and all kinds of cool shit. But, I don't know, man. 15 bucks a month, I'm thinking, like, fuck, that's... That's a lot. That's a lot, dude. It adds up, you know, as you go down the year. That's beer money right there for me. Especially, <laughs> no, especially. I mean, we got other games coming out, guys. We got, you know, that uh, Destiny coming out later on. You know, the next Call of Duty is going to come out later on. The new Battlefield is going to come out later on. All these big games are coming out at the end of the year. It's, it's going to be pretty crazy. The question is, can you conjure up a bound bow? Because if you can, that's about enough to sell me. Because that was. One of the baddest assest weapons I've ever used. Was it? Yeah, I don't know, man. I see. I saw gameplay of that shit. That shit looks fun, but well, no. Oh, how's it going to work for the GameFly people? People that will GameFly that game, is it going to cost them fifteen bucks right away off the bat? You know, or are they going to get that first month for free? No, no they get the first month free. Really? Everybody, everybody, no matter what, gets the first month no, free. No, I think you have to have Xbox Live. Mm. I mean, uh, play it anyway. Play it well, you no, know what's weird is it's, it's, it's on PlayStation. They said Bethesda came out and said, you know, on PlayStation, you don't you don't have to have that PlayStation Plus subscription. What do you guys think? Should you think Microsoft should have said, you know what, fuck it, our players do not have the gold subscription to play but this game. But who's not going to have the gold subscription and exactly. play this game? I mean, it's it's. I hear that all the time. Well, well, this game come out, and you don't have to have. If you're playing online, you're going to have the gold subscription. I mean, Who has that's an the... Xbox One and doesn't have gold. Exactly. Besides you never know. Man. Never know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I pay for my gold subscription and I pay for my son to have it. I mean, I don't understand why. You, I mean, why don't you I, just I don't share know. gold? I mean, I'm, maybe I understand it's something like Netflix or something, but still, I mean. Hey, hold on. You pay for, what, you what pay about for the you hard and your part? son? Because yes. he should be able to get it for free on the Xbox One as long as you yeah. have gold. Cause he he's doesn't a have Xbox member. One. I know, but oh, you should be 60? able to, to share the plan with him. Like, yeah, my but... wife can use my gold account under her own gamer tag. So they stopped the family plan. Uh, I don't know, man. We use it all the time. What's going on here? You might be paying too much, is all I'm saying. Uh, well, usually his grandmother pays for his. So. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Good. There you go. Free Xbox. No, but uh, I don't know, man. You know, there could be those hardcore PC players that are playing this game on the on the PC, and they don't have, you know, they don't have an Xbox One, so they're going to go out and buy one because they want to play with people on the Xbox One. And they say, you know what? Fuck this. I don't want to pay for the gold subscription. Why should I have to? On top of playing, if they're all, you know, these people are people that are buying the Elder Scrolls Online to play the Elder Scrolls Online are only going to play that one game forever. That's what's going to happen. You got to have some time to devote to it. I know that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't I don't think console gaming will work like that. I think there's too many people have too much interest in other things. It's just I mean, Titanfall come out and we all said no one's going to play anything but Titanfall, but people are starting to fall off Titanfall now. You know, it's starting to to wear a bit thin for a lot of years. And so you're saying MMOs MMOs have no home on a console? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, I, I don't see how they will work at this stage. I don't think we we haven't as console gamers we haven't sort of been conditioned in that in that way to constantly be on an MMO. And, and, and I've tried doing MMOs before and they haven't worked out too well. Um, I remember that Defiance game that came out, you know, the one for the TV show, and everybody mm-hmm. was on that for the first. <clears throat> I want to say. For First week, everybody was playing that thing like crazy. It was hard to get on there. Servers were stressed out, you know. Shit was going hardcore on that game, and then all of a sudden, everybody forgot about it. It's like, mm. what the fuck happened to that game? And that's 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 the problem that MMOs have on consoles. We're just not conditioned to play their games that way on PC. I mean, you see it with Minecraft, man. There's people who live on that game, and and they they make money off that game, and that's all they play. And but that's how they're conditioned to play on their PC. And I just think. It's a, it's a tough battle ahead for MMO companies that want to put that stuff out on on console. It may work in some time down the track, but right now I, I just think there's a it's probably a good time to release an MMO right now because there's bugger all games out there. 
So it could be a good time for for it, but for me, I think I, I think the June release date is really smart from them because in the middle of the summer, nobody really releases game in June. Mm. So it might work. And I mean, Elder Scrolls has history. It's it's always been a good game, and it's always delivered good content. But um, I just think what they're going to do is by the end of, I want to say by before mid next year, this game is going to be free to play. It's going to have to be, man. There's no way that. It's, and people are going to continue paying for this all the way through the through the winter, you know, when all the good games are going to come out for the Xbox One. Mm. They may keep a subscription, but they'll make they may make the uh, game downloadable for free. <clears throat> no, that might work. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I think that's the perfect time, you know. Right? It's June thirtieth, I believe. So that's the perfect time to come out with a game like that because there's not a lot coming out. I mean, in August we have. Um, uh, the Evil Within, and in September we have um, Destiny. But you know that's right. Really, that's two months right there where there's not too much going out. So I mean, mm. at least you might get the you know one month paid subscription from people. Yeah. When does when does Destiny come out? Doesn't it come out really soon? September after that, 9th. Like, mm. So I you think. got two months in between, you know, Elder Scrolls <clears throat> and Destiny. Yeah. People, people might pay for that those first two months or whatever. Well, the first month after they get the first one free, and they might just go with that one. Yeah, either way, I'm in. I'll get it for the. I'll get it on release day, the first month. You know, regardless. But like you guys said, as console gamers, we constantly just want the next thing. We want the new shit. Mm-hmm. So we're always wanting to move on and, and uh, play other games. I mean, I don't know if that's a console player's like mind state, but that's that's my mind state. I just want to keep playing different things kind of hard to stick to one thing mm-hmm. and just keep paying us uh pl- paying the subscription every month you know they've they've yeah. talked about destiny and they want it to last for do they want to put out years worth of content let's hope they don't go yeah. to a subscription based format with that game yeah that's what, I mean, about I, GTA. I sure. that's what they said about grand theft okay. auto 5 they wanted to make it so you played one multiplayer game forever or for a long time without Having to go play anything else—that that was their plan. But did that work? Yeah, that didn't work out very well, did it? Because well, what I think they failed upon was they released it in a year where a new console was coming out. They knew people were gonna fucking go for that new console, man. They screwed up on that one. No, I think they're gonna bring GTA on the new console. Oh, I, I don't doubt that, oh, but yeah. I'm. Seeing- I'm saying they should have if they if they really wanted people to play the game forever, like they're saying, you know. They should have released it on the next generation right away. Well, why that? Why? Because now you'll buy it twice. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but the thing is, you want people to play your damn game, you know. Think about how many people dropped out of the Xbox 360 to move on to the Xbox One, and these games are coming out on the Xbox One, and they're not playing that GTA no more. I'm not playing GTA anymore. Are you guys still playing it? No. No. I, I go in. I play it occasionally, but... The online's broken. The, so the one no guy in New Zealand plays the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's Not it. Very often. I mean, but as I said, the, the online, the biggest problem Rockstar had was that online broke very quickly. People ripped it and, and made it. Put these money things into it. You just got basically you got given millions of dollars, and then you could buy anything you wanted, and <clears throat> it got it got shit pretty quick, uh, and it got tiring because. You just do the same missions over and over again, and it's just didn't for me. It didn't have playability. It just it got very very boring very quickly. And I do understand. I'm now starting to bring out more stuff. Like the one thing we all wanted was the bank heists, and they're still not out. That's what six months after release time now. Do you believe that with the next generation release, when they announce it here at E3, probably, you know, when they say, "Oh, we got a new GTA coming out." We're well, not the new one, but we got the definitive edition coming out for the new consoles. you think they're going to announce that those bank heists will be available on, on launch day? That'd be smart, too. Rockstar That'd be nice is, thing. But then Rockstar never really have a presence at those events, do they? They, they, don't, they don't need those events to, um, to make their money. So, I don't know. Look, as far as GTA 5 is, I... I Put it in, that's when it was all broken. You couldn't even get into a match. And I remember loading up the screen and trying to get into that race, and it would just sit there for a half hour, and then I'd go back to, you know, dashboard it, 
load the game back up, and I remember not being able to get into that game for a while. And then so you I finally gave, get into I gave a game. Up. I finally gave yeah. up, and there's one guy running around fucking shooting everybody in the head all your money or taking your car. He's got millions <laughs> of dollars worth of gear and stuff, like freaking all commandoed out. Uh, I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> got his own played. motel and stuff. I mean. <laughs> I never played uh, the, I never played the public thing. It just got ridiculous. There was one time I think Jesus and I played public, and it was we had some good fun. We went around killing and and bombing everything, and but it gets pretty tiring pretty quick. Yeah, it does. But look, the concept of GTA um, GTA Online was amazing. The concept when the, when they were talking about it before. It came oh out. yeah, dude! You having this world where everybody can hang out and everybody can do whatever. Rob stores, go fucking race your cars, have your own garage, have your own fucking vehicles. Yeah, Nobody can reality? jack your car. It's like reality in a game, but you know, reality where you can get a, get away with all kinds of crazy shit. We have to pay. We have to pay seven, eight hundred bucks for a two bedroom apartment. Go buy groceries. <laughs> Everybody's fat <laughs> yeah, and naked, <laughs> surrounded by Mountain Dew cans and pizza boxes. Yeah. Does, no, does nothing but play that game. You know, getting fights with your old lady. That's it was that realistic, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't really get into it, to be honest. Uh, I'm looking forward to Watch Dogs. I'm hoping Watch Dogs brings something fun, man. I just don't think they've shown enough of that game. I mean, I've already really? pre-ordered it. I mean, I've watched. Man, they got so many. They got so many trailers up, man. I mean, have you been watching those? I've watched some of them. I guess I haven't watched. <laughs> you them. haven't watched one, dude. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I have watched, watched one. He, he watched the E3 reveal heard back. About in, a back okay. There's a trailer. <laughs> They're just gonna run up. Oh, my phone! My phone can hack everything. I mean, that's. But I mean, I've already got it pre-ordered. I'm gonna get it. What but, else you gonna play? You know, I mean, what else is there to do? Yeah, there is nothing. Sit at home. That's and you got that. You got that indie game that just came out. That that indie uh, game. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what's it called again? Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna look it up right now. <laughs> Horrible podcasting, man. Horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm, I got my Xbox fired up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the game store. <laughs> what, what's so, it called? Suit Zero. Yeah. Strike, strike Zero. Suit Zero. There it is. There it is. Zero. What is it like? Just strike like uh, Suit Zero. Uh, like a. Uh, what's it's it Star called? Fox, man. But yeah, but what do you call those big, like a Titan? But what did the Japan people call them? Was it mechs? Mechs. Yeah, you're just a big mech out in space. <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> That's what the Japan <laughs> people call them. <laughs> what the <laughs> what <are> the... <laughs> Japan people call them? <laughs> oh yeah, man! Yeah, yeah. Anybody listening from Japan? We don't mean yeah. We... <laughs> no offense, you know. We're oh, for that intense racism. That's <laughs> You're taking it. Um, Captain Hook, horrible gamers does not condone racism. Y'all took it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> laughing so hard right now, my face hurts, dude. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, drink that beer as we all talk. Yeah. So, did you guys try it? Nobody tried Strike Suit Zero. Oh, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna do it. That game looks like garbage, dude. I looked at it, and there's not even a demo. If they would have released a demo, I would have gave it the light of day, at least to try the demo and see if it's worth the money. Hey man, haters gonna hate. <laughs> How much money? <laughs> you hate dog. Fifteen bucks? It's twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. It's twenty. Twenty dollars for a fucking indie game. Hey, hey, when you're Daniel, you, you know you can't hide money. How much did indie games cost on the 360? Two dollars, three dollars. Yeah, those weren't indie games. Look at those games that were on the 360. I mean, what the fuck? What is this? Not an indie game? Is that one? Is no. that not what they called it? The, Dude, did they call it an I'm arcade? Not, I'm not a dating simulator. Dude. I'm not a you know. The indie games on 360 are literally like drawn with a pencil and paper and like yeah. recorded with a <laughs> shitty ass video camera. I mean, I think they're I, terrible. I think this game's a little bit more. So you call this an arcade game then? Yes, basically. I would. Yeah. No, so games are games. Know. Games are games are games. Yeah, games are games. Jesus, games. come on, man. Right. So you say an indie game is a regular as a triple A game. Hey, games are games. Bullshit. I'm going to call bullshit on that. Uh, an indie game should not be given the credit that a fucking triple A game gets you, dude. No way. What about tri okay, Trials Evolution or Trials Trials is fun. Trials is fun. That's a good game. That's a funny game. Okay, well, how do you know this game isn't fun? Is that an indie game? 
Doesn't look fun. Yeah, it doesn't look fun to me either. I just thought I'd bring something up. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Daniel's getting pissed. Or Brink, he's getting mad. He's like, hey, man, I'm going to pay 20 You need some drama here. No. <laughs> that, that shit looks <laughs> fun. <laughs> I hate you. It looks amazing, yeah. man. It looks, it looks like two Brink's hours review. of hey, hard work. I'm going to take the bullshit here. I will buy it, and I will play it. We get Brink's review on www.horriblegamers.com. Love it. He gives it a 10, 10. It'll be only 10 out of 10 this game will put up on their trailers and shit. Yeah. It'll be a gamer system out of 10. <laughs> Dude, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. They'll be fine. Is this, that game come out on PS4? Is that, did it come out on so Xbox exclusive? Is that what it is? No, it's on PS4. Is it? And 360. And oh, PS3. Wow. Oh, is it yeah, 20 weekend. bucks on 360 as well? Uh, I want to know that. Is it 20 bucks on 360? Because why the fuck is it 20 bucks on next gen? Because what they assume that people that bought next gen have money to fucking spend. Yeah, we need something to play. So let's. These guys have no games on their console. Let's fucking make them pay 20 bucks. They'll do it. Is that what they think? They will do it. Oh, if, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fact. That is fact. Uh, that sucks, man. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll all be watching uh, Brink of Eternity streaming on that's right. Twitch. Most popular Twitch channel. <laughs> You'll be the only guy streaming this shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be the only guy on Twitch bitching the whole stream. time about how bad yeah. it is. <laughs> Oh man, they're gonna even sponsor you and shit for being the only guy streaming this game. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll have t-shirts and swag. Don't be jealous. Cool. Okay. Hashtag bring. So Rob, what have you been playing? <laughs> um, I haven't been playing much. I haven't had the time, but mostly just Mass Effect Three this week. I started up with just the multiplayer because I've, I've never played it before. <clears throat> but then I realized I didn't actually re- remember how to play it. So I started playing the story again and enjoyed that. So I've been playing mostly that when I have had the chance. But to be honest, I've mostly been on our website trying to trying to fix it up and get it working, and then I break it, and then I have to fix up what I break. So it's been a, a, a horrible week. But <clears throat> hopefully this week I'll have more time to play. Yeah. So, so Rob, when they bring Mass Effect, the trilogy or whatnot, to the current-gen consoles, are you planning on playing it? Only if they release it with all the DLC. I won't <clears throat> I won't buy it, then have to go and buy the DLC separately. <clears throat> yeah, that's, they should do that. They've been doing that with everything else, the Definitive yeah. Edition, the remastered yeah. version. So would you start at Mass Effect 1 and do the whole <laughs> thing over? I'd probably do it um, under protest, because I don't like Mass Effect 1. It annoys the shit out of me. I like the story of Mass Effect 1, but the gameplay and so forth was very frustrating going back to playing that again. But um, I'd do it just <clears throat> so that I can do the whole thing over again, plus play all the DLC. There's a lot of hours to be sunk into that game. <clears throat> Only what, if, what if they say Mass Effect 1 is in full HD? <clears throat> 900p. <laughs> That's no. not full. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Full hey, 900p. Hey. 900p. 30 guys. FPS. Look at Rise. Look at Rise. That fucking game is beautiful. 900p. Yeah, my TV's yeah, not Rise was awesome. You don't have a HD TV? I don't have a full HD TV. I've got one of those oh, the older God. ones. The fake ones. Man, I, I got <laughs> bills. I just got on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I, I, I'm a working man. Like, I, I have to work. Like, go buy a like, $4,000 you know, TV and get everything for free at Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, talking about that, so, you know, the Amazon uh, Fire or the Amazon, what did that Amazon gaming console? Amazon Fire TV? Fire TV just came out that you can plug into your TV to make it more awesome, I guess, if, if you want that. Um, and then you can buy a $40 controller for it. And it's all that Android games, stuff. isn't it? Yeah, they said the average game, the average price for a game was like three dollars and ninety eight cents. Um, They're Android games to buy games on there. 
But would y'all ever game on something like that? Would you ever get something like that? I mean, would you rather get like an Apple TV or a Chromecast or, you know? I like my consoles. I'm, I only play games on console. I play the occasional phone game, but it's only if I'm bored at work. <clears throat> um, I'm, a, I'm a console gamer. That's what I, that's where I do all my gaming. The Amazon Fire TV sounds it sounds interesting. In theory, it sounds it sounds great to be honest. But to me, it just seems like the Ouya. You know, when that thing came out, everyone was like, gonna um, jump upon that. Change like, the world. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. That's, the world. Fucking revolutionary, you know, fucking all this open, fucking open developing and all kinds of cool shit they had going for it. Yeah, okay. it was supposed to be the next big thing. And now now and it's it in the bargain. Already, yeah. Now it's in the bargain bin at Walmart, man, for like 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> Jetpack Joyride go, go is pick badass, up your Ouya. Right, but I, I will play that on my phone. I don't need to buy uh, a, another device to plug into my TV to play Jetpack Joyride. Well, see, my problem is, like, my TV had Chrome Pass built in, or most smart TVs, you don't need anything like that, the Amazon Fire and that kind of stuff. I mean, do you? Yeah, you, even my TV, you know, it's a Vizio, and it came with, like, the Netflix apps and all kinds of apps for this video streaming and shit. Oh, baller. So I, I, don't see, I don't see the point in, in, like, fucking having these kind of things. You could buy a fucking Roku box. Doesn't that thing play games, too, though? Yeah, we have one in my daughter's room, and it plays some games, yeah. Like Angry Birds and shit? Yep, sure does. Okay, so I'm looking at, I'm looking at the Amazon Fire TV, you know, like I went to their website right now, and they're, they're, they're saying that games like The Walking Dead is going to be on there, you know, and uh, Minecraft. That's, that's some pretty Yeah, but The Walking shit, Dead man. is not a game. It's not. No. What? Well, why is it not a game? It's an interactive show. It's an interactive cartoon, man. That's what it is. Yeah, really? it's still a lot of fun. So, it got Game of the Year. Are you saying it shouldn't have got Game of the Year? Yeah, it should have got Interactive TV Show of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I mean... Hey, I hey. Just... Sorry? Oh, yeah, but also... Well, it says Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm not sure how that varies from the, from the PC or Xbox yeah. Edition. Um, no, it's a, they got it's a very different game. It also shows The Cave. I haven't really sunk too deep into that, but that's a lot of fun, dude. The Cave, um, Terraria... Mm-hmm. Sonic CD, Deus Ex, The Fall. Terraria. And then they have that game? game that Amazon actually, um, I think it was in um, Zero, which kind of looks cool. kind of looks like Mass Effect in a way. I know they, I know they acquired Double Helix. So they they did. Act- you, you, think, you think this is why? Because they have this... Fire TV shit? Well, you know, this is why they went out. They're trying to make it company? seem like it's not a gaming console. This is not a gaming console. This is more of a media streaming box. But maybe they're trying to really get into something underneath. You know, they're trying to, they want to put it out. They put out some good games. And hey, they bought the developers of Killer Instinct, didn't they? Yeah, so, yeah, that's Double Helix. And they um, some of the designers of Portal and Fire Cry 2. So, mobile, that's baby. Crazy. so if they come out like the Ouya, okay, they come out and they say this is a gaming console, it's a $99 buy-in, they got all these Android games, and people are disappointed. So if they come out and they just say this is a streaming box, but it also plays games, and they start putting out some, some good creative games, some interesting games that catch you by surprise, then people might be more more enticed, you know, like, oh, okay, they, they brought something to the table, they got something interesting and new. Rather than saying they're a gaming console and being disappointed, right? Well, well, what I see with Amazon is that they're gonna have a lot of people buying this thing from the beginning, just because so many people use Amazon, dude. Think about how many gamers use Amazon to pre-order games because they don't want to go to a GameStop and buy that fucking game. All of a sudden, they hear this thing. They have like this Amazon TV thing, and that thing can play games. You think that'll entice some of those gamers to be like, you know what, let's go, let's go play this. Buy this to play games and watch TV at the same time, like my Xbox One. Yeah, maybe. I know a lot of hey. people who have Amazon Prime might get it. Just you know, just because people are are uh, familiar with Amazon. Amazon yeah. is a brand that most most people know shop on because it's easy, it's simple. <clears throat> you have Amazon Prime, you're getting that free two day shipping. 
So you, you constantly go back to their site, you know, just to stay involved with it. Yep. <laughs> oh man! Oh shit! The chat. You know what? Sorry, guys. Uh, Sorry, Amazon Fire. The they need one seriously badass, epic, amazing, mind blowing, face melting game. If they want to actually like sell the this. Walking Dead, The Walking Dead for three dollars. I said dead. game. Season, I said season game. five. No. <laughs> uh, interactive the TV dead. cartoon. The Walking game. Dead season five. Lee Everett going to jail. Okay. The show the, is good. The the, right. the 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 like the fucking the pre story to whatever prequel. happened. The but, prequel. Yeah, the prequel. There you go. I can't wait. Before she, before Lee goes I, to jail. The, the the prequel would be um just normal life because when he's going to jail is when the outbreak happens. We don't, <laughs> you know, I don't think that story uh, would be very interesting. It wouldn't be called The Walking Dead. Lives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'd cool. just be called. It's called it's just be called Lee goes to jail. <laughs> 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 it's just a story. I don't know, about... man. I'm just thinking. You think if they bring the Wolf Among Us to, uh, what if they get Telltale to bring that Game of Thrones game to the f- Amazon Fire TV? You think that'll maybe sell some of that? It's not going to matter. Oh, Everybody's going to buy it on their Xbox or PS4. Yeah. Or... What, if, what if Amazon pays them a shitload of money and says, you know what? Only put this out They're on not. Amazon. Fire They're not. TV. They've already got contracts with Xbox and. Yeah. Okay, what if they put something else out? <laughs> so, but, yeah. I mean, is the Game of Thrones games like a legit game? It is. Oh, no. I'm hearing that it's being made by Telltale now. I'm, oh, it's a I'm assuming it's Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be like, like that. Uh, like the Wolf Among Us and the Walking Dead. I mean, it's gonna be that style. Even Jurassic Park came out with that kind of style of game when Telltale made that Jurassic Park a few years ago. But back, okay, I'd say Jurassic Park. back to the Future yeah. was different. I'd play that. It was still, no, too. no, no, it was not. It was the same. It's, it's a, like a point-and-click game. You mm. click on something. But it was the same kind of drawings and stuff. Well, just because the drawing is different doesn't mean the game is different. Are you guys going to play Borderlands? The interactive TV show? <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the prequel. Yeah, I thought oh, you were talking about Okay, yeah, let's go there too. The prequel. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. I will this, go back to my 360 and buy that game. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of Borderlands. No, no, you're not a fan of the 360. You don't own one anymore, right? Yeah. yeah well, I'm not a fan of 360. Well, I'm not a fan of Borderlands. <laughs> Later. Later. No, when that game when that game was out on the 360, I never I never liked it. I didn't like the style of graphics it had. Some people hate it. Man. Some people can't even look at I the hate game. It. That's yeah, shading. I think it's beautiful myself, but I think, it's, there. I think it's shit. Garbage. You know it looks exactly like your favorite interactive TV show. I just oh, read, oh, hey. no. hey, I'm not shooting fucking people, man. <laughs> All right, I'm not gunfighting in that interactive Dude, TV show. Uh, there's literally a bazillion guns. That's what I hear. A bazillion. <laughs> that's, that's what the guy. I don't know about. That's I don't what even the know guy, how much that is. It's a lot though. More than a million. It's mm. it's more than a million. More than a it's trillion. More than, more than two million. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I didn't. It's more than a billion. I didn't very good at math. Actually, let's ask Jim. Hey Jim. <laughs> What's up? One bi- <laughs> one bazillion guns. How much is that? A lot of fucking guns. Hey okay. Jim. <laughs> hey Captain Hook. What? Did you play Borderlands and Borderlands Two? I played the first Borderlands. Um. Fuck that game. It was a, oh, you're a dick. Um, didn't play Borderlands 2. My son loves it. Um, I guess it's for little kids. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're exactly right, dude. Oh man, <laughs> what? I, th- I think Jesus and Captain Hook are they're okay. in their own little world. Right. Like, let's talk about no Borderlands, bullshit. Man. You, you talk about this Borderlands games like it's so fucking great. Dude, I guess because it is, dude. Dude, it's a fucking game that came out when? 2012, and it's had DLC coming out for the fucking shit ever since. Yeah, that's pretty badass it's just, for them it's to like, put DLC out for like four cash fucking Cash grab, years. cash grab. Hey. A fucking four-hour DLC. Everybody's going to pay ten bucks for that no, shit. No, no, no. Th- the, the last DLC, all the last DLC con- uh, content has been three bucks. Three okay. bucks every fucking week, though. Hey. I mean, there was <laughs> every week. Every forget, week. A, forget about the cell shaded <laughs> graphics. Tell me what what is not interesting about it apart from that. You know, I do not like. I'm not a big MMO fan, RPG fan. 
That's I'm not. exactly why. I'm not. I don't want to have to worry about this gun is more than this gun, or <laughs> I've got to fix this stuff. I played South Park. You know, I know that. that. I like South Park, but I'm not going to spend 40, 50 hours in a game. I don't have the time to spend 40, 50 hours in a game. Exactly. That's why I can't be Tomb Raider. And that game's like 10 hours long. Rob, um, I mean, did you play Borderlands? No. Oh, my God. Hey, he doesn't even like it. Well, yeah, like it. How about we do this? How about we take, we take IMs and Brink and put them in their own fucking show, the, uh, the Borderlands show. <laughs> we stick to our own horrible gamers over here because these guys are over there. TV show. show. That'll be great. <laughs> well, go talk about your so shaded bullshit-ass game that you like so much. <laughs> Man. No wonder why you're a horrible. Gamer. You, I know, <laughs> Jesus, I know you like co-op games because you play Battlefield Four with me, and that's just amazing. Four is like that, man. It's it's co-op. You work together. You're all badasses. You're getting all kinds of loot. You're killing giant monsters. It's fun. It's addictive. Like Whoa, it's got some fun, management, but it, it's cool. You man, you man, you get all these badass you powers and stuff. You don't kill giant monsters in Battlefield Four. Okay. We- Okay, we don't do that. Yeah, I'm just you referring to the co-op aspect of it, though. <laughs> that, that's a problem, though, man. You need some giant that's monsters. That's a problem, man. You don't like hell giant monsters. <laughs> you don't like it? I just don't, man. I mean, Why you hate monsters? I don't know, it, just, it doesn't appeal to me, man. It does not appeal to me. That that game, just, I'm not looking. I don't like it. I don't know. All right. Okay, moving on. No, 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 no hold on. Borderlands, the, 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 um, the, they just announced the, the pre-sequel. I might play that Telltale Games one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to play that too. So I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing. Gonna I'm going to play that, play that one, too. I'll probably play it, yeah. I like Telltale. Okay, it, it made good... why, don't we, why don't we gang up on Brink now because he doesn't like our interactive oh, TV show. Yeah, what's so, what's so wrong I mean, about Telltale that. releasing these movies, dude? <laughs> this is great entertainment. That's like... Like, this is what gaming is nowadays. You're watching a fucking movie, dude. Well, talking about um, Telltale Games, The Wolf Among Us just had a new episode come out. And I think uh, Rob played it, right? Yeah, me and Sean, I think, both played it. You both played it? Yeah. Did you uh, play all the way through it? or? Yeah. Well, it's hard not to. It's only an year and a half. <laughs> no spoilers. <Yeah. laughs> no spoilers. Is it good? Is it good? It continues on the story quite well. Um, I, th- I, th- I think it's time for Telltale to move to a bigger engine or something because it's very glitchy. Um, the last I, ten, wish, I wish these games were on Xbox One, yeah. to be honest. The last 10 minutes of that episode was very difficult because um, it would just glitch out on all the time on me. And um, I think Xbox 360 is actually having issues at the moment in general because we've noticed a lot of dropouts and just general games like Mass Effect 3 was an absolute bitch this afternoon for us. And it has okay. been giving us issues, but back to the game. Um, the game's good, but I kind of feel the same way Brink does. It's just an interactive movie. It was was the perception that you are the decisions that you are making will affect the story, where they don't. They um, the, the story still flows the same way, and you're still going to get to the same final bit. Some of the decisions that you make might change to who gets to that final part, but I think. Um, I think after The Wolf Among Us, I'll be done with Telltale Games unless they change No that. way, dude. No way. Have you guys played any of these games on the, on like on the iPhone or iPad? Does it no. play good? I don't know. I don't think it's really the thing is Telltale trying to put out that content so frequently. Like they're trying to rush out the next episode and then the next episode. Which I, think is, I, think, I think Telltale just has too much on their plate. That that could be true. I'm not sure how many teams are working on, on uh, which games, but they got a lot of stuff they're trying to do right now. They're trying to accomplish. Yeah, well, they, know, they need to uh, step back and say what's more, more important right now, you know, quality or, or quantity, because uh, it's going to affect their, their game, gamer base because uh, just because of the, the glitching that's going on, it's putting me off it. Um, I, I really do like the story of Wolf Among Us, but um, the, the, the glitching is just very frustrating. Yeah, I played I played that episode three too, which is the Crooked Mile. Um, mm. I, I like the story. I like how um, it's got little twists in it. Um, for five bucks, even if you only get two hours of uh, gameplay, it's still well worth it. Yeah, I don't think and episode problem. three it was not his episode two. So mm. it might be improving. Could be. 
<laughs> I, I, I know Tell Tell the the Walking Dead episode two. I I, I nearly didn't finish that because it was just so horrible. But yeah, maybe they'll get better. Is it horrible and, content or it was hor- It ran horribly. Uh, it was. I didn't enjoy the story. It was very, very um, dry, and, and I found it very slow. Um, I just don't think they've got. For me, they haven't got the dynamics right in this episode, uh, season two. There's something oh. missing from it. Oh, you're talking about new in season two. Season two oh. overall. Oh, I just okay, don't, yeah. The story. The story hasn't grabbed me. It, I mean, it, season one was. Um, Every episode was kind of, you just wanted to know what was going to happen next, and you couldn't put the game down, but it's quite the opposite for me on this time. But I think, anyway, I'm sort of over the Walking Dead entire, the whole thing anyway, so it might just be me sick of zombies. I have to uh, agree with Rob on the season two. It's just, it's not, I don't know, it's not the same grab you that you look forward to playing. I mean, when the first season came out, I was always looking forward to the next episode, remembering what happened. I played it two or three times. Good. I played it. You know, the bad decisions. And season two, I just don't want to do that. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. But, um, but uh, Captain Hook, look, you haven't played. Um, have you played Wolf Among Us or no? No, I have not. I thought about downloading it, but I just, I just haven't. Yeah, because every time the episode is over on on that game, I want to play the next one. Like I want it now. Mm. That's how I feel. But I haven't gone back to my 360 again. You know, I was kind of like Jesus. I haven't gone back. You know, I got an Xbox One to play Xbox One games. Like, why did I spend no. $500 if I'm going to go back and play a 360? Exactly. No, Jesus exactly. is over it because he doesn't have it no more. He sold that for No, but, I, but I, I am. I'm, I'm, <laughs> over, I'm over it, dude, because I wanted to move on to a completely a new generation, man. That's what my whole point was. Why am I buying a console on day one if I know the console that I have already is going to be continuing to be supported? When if, I, if I'm buying a console day one, I'm going to move on to that console. I'll tell you why. From that it's day. Badass. No, I'm not going to go back and play Battlefield 4 on 360. Why yeah, would I? Hey, I could play it on go back Xbox and play 4. some Mass Effect 3 with your homies. <laughs> nah, dude. Mass, I'm done with Mass Effect. Why well, are you done? You got to move on, man. Nowadays, gaming, it's about moving on to the next new shit that comes out. You, but that old shit's still good, man. Sometimes. Still good. I love going back to old games. It's good fun. You go, you go back, you go back mm-hmm. and play Modern Warfare Three and Modern Warfare Two, and I no, I don't. Exactly. Why? Because the new shit's better. And yeah, because I don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I mean, that too. Hey, you guys. We had some uh, some great feedback in our community. Horrible gamers. Facebook group from our neighborhood Scotsman William Tolan. Is that how you pronounce that? Tolan. Tolan. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Anyways, he had, he, had, he had some really good questions for us. You guys want to talk about that? <laughs> Let's talk about those. Actually, one of his questions was, uh, "What is your top three weapons in all of gaming?" And for me, I would have to say that two of them, because I can think of the third one on the top of my head, but two of them. Would be one is the Hammer of Dawn from Gears of War because that weapon Damn. is just Damn. that weapon is just amazing, man. Can you, you guys uh, remember using that thing the first time? You fucking calling this huge ass laser beam from the sky? In multiplayer, awesome. dude. Yeah, no, single player, man. When you're playing that campaign and you pick up that fucking weapon and you're like, "What does this shit do?" And boom, fucking kills that big spider. Yeah, or but in multiplayer, if you're the guy who gets to it first, that's the Ooh. shit right there. Ooh, man. That's a good choice. That know. one didn't even pop in my head. I'm, I'm a little jealous. I didn't think of it. The hammer of dawn. Another another weapon that I really like. This is more recent. This is a newer one. It's that sledge saw from uh, Dead Rising Three. I remember playing with Rob. Yeah, playing with Oh stuff. man. And holy fuck! Every time we go to our locker, I would always pick that weapon up. I never picked up another weapon. That was the one I always had. It's just so much fun. There are some cool weapons in that game. There is. That game is amazing. On weapons, it's pretty nutty. Um, what about you guys? What are you guys' favorite weapons? I can't think of the third one on the top of my head. Okay, well, um, you know what? I'm going to say any gun on the Ratchet and Clank games. But more specifically, the buzz saws. I think the buzz saws were a lot of fun. And the Groovatron glove, where you, just, you throw out that little disco ball and it makes everyone dance, and you, then you you kill them or take them out any way you want while they're dancing. <laughs> that I like the dubstep gun. 
Say it yeah, to uh, the dub. Oh, dude, thank you for bringing that up. Let me rewrite this dubstep gum. Okay, that's that's my other. We're gonna edit that out. That first part out. <laughs> edit it out. Yeah, let me hold on, you guys. Can you guys edit that? Okay, restart. Make sure he he went off script, guys. Hold on. Fuck. Hey, my, mine is my first one. Okay, guys, let me start this over. My first one is dubstep gum from Saints Row Four. <laughs> No, but uh, they had the Mr. Zircon. Uh, I don't know if that was that wasn't really a gun. Is it guns or weapons? Weapons. I no, weapons. any any weapon from Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> yeah. Any of the games was a lot of fun. Also, the bullseye gun from um, Saint uh, Resistance Three on PS3. Yeah. It had that you shoot that thing, it would lock on your target, and even if you're around the corner, you could still shoot around the corner wherever it was hooked to. You just pump bullets into them. That's the only what one. About like, yours, uh, how about you, Brink? What are some of your favorite guns, man? Okay. Well, let me start out with uh, Jesus's favorite weapon from his favorite game ever, uh, Borderlands. <laughs> there was this, uh, you know, there was uh, hear tell about this secret developer's chest hidden away in the little corner of the map. You know, not only the coolest people knew about it. So I found it, obviously, and uh, they had, the very first time I got down to it, I opened it up and I got this uh, rare orange weapon. It was called the Chameleon Revolver, and it was pretty badass because it did acid, fire, and electricity damage all at the same time. And I have to say, like, I had never seen anything like that before, like, because Borderlands, it was a pretty original game when it came out, despite what you may think, and... uh yeah, it was just cool to watch people, like, burn, melt, and electrocute at the same time. Kind of sadistic like that, I guess. So, anyways, my next weapon of choice would be the time manipulation device, the TMD from the game Singularity 2010. Any okay. That? Yep, I played most of it. Yeah, I mean, that that thing was pretty badass. You could uh, You could basically hit some Nazi bastard with it and turn him from a full-grown man and... and reverse his life back to pre-infancy to where he basically just shriveled up and died. Like, you could aim it at objects and and de-age them to the point of not existing anymore. The Benjamin Button Gun. The Benjamin Button Gun. <laughs> yes. And, uh, yeah, I I just thought that was really cool. I never used anything like that before. You could, like, if you had a... Uh, uh, a bridge that was all fucked up, you'd shoot it at it, and then it would become whole again. Like, I don't know. I mean, I thought that was a great game. It it didn't get nearly as much credit as it, as it deserved. Like, it didn't have very good marketing or anything like that. It got delayed a few times. But it was a great game, and if you guys ever see it in the bargain bin, I recommend picking it up. I think it's five bucks. Used most. If you go to GameStop, it's like five bucks. Yeah. it It's great. All right, uh, my third weapon, I actually already mentioned it earlier. It's the Bound Bow from Skyrim. I uh, That was my favorite weapon from Skyrim. I thought it was cool. I could just uh, I could just conjure it out of nothing, and uh, you could set it so it, could, it would fill a soul gem automatically for you, and soul gems were pretty important in Skyrim. So uh, do you guys know anything about that? Yeah, I, I played Skyrim. I put a lot of time into it, but I cannot well, remember. I, I, I remember playing Skyrim, but I had these axes that I got, like some Daedric axes that I got from one of the dungeons. I randomly ran into some guy that he was like the devil or something, and he gave me these badass axes that just did like 100 hit points on every time I hit somebody with them. So I just always used those. I never used anything else. That's cool. Yeah, man. That game was pretty crazy, and how you could just run into random shit, man. That was, mm. that was pretty it nutty. It was full of squirrels and things that just sucked you away for hours and hours, and you, did, you forget what the hell are you even doing. You said squirrels? Sometimes I, I, would, I would set a goal to get across the map, and I'd end up on the opposite side, you know, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing over here? <laughs> I was supposed to go over there. Um, I was going to say my weapon. Is that cool? No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> My first Ooh, weapon is, uh, I'm just going to love this. Uh, my first weapon is the <laughs> shotgun in Gears of War. I was oh. just badass with it. The I saw it off. No, no regular shotgun. Oh, okay. Threw the salt off. I could roadie run across the map, just blam, blam, shoot people. Um, loved it. Uh, my second weapon would be uh, the whip 
from uh, the original um, uh, Double Dragon. We would get it yeah, from boy. the we would get it from the girls at the end of the level and just climb up the end of you know Dude, where they had the God. the ladder on the end and you had to have the whip to climb up it. We'd sit there for like an hour just like look, I can climb up this that you know. <laughs> Double Dragon, one of the best games ever made. <laughs> so um, that out there. My uh, my third one is um, there was this game that came out on the on the original Xbox called Arm and Dangerous. I don't know if y'all ever played it, but uh, it was hilarious. And uh, they had a shark gun, and you would shoot a shark in the air, and it would go down into the ground, go under the ground, and jump up and eat the people. And it was great. It, was, it came out in 2003. If y'all never played on, play that game, look up Armed and Dangerous. It was on the original Xbox, and it, it's one of the most funniest games you will ever, ever play. So, Wait, uh, Saints Row did that as well. Saints Row 2 or 3. No, three or four. One of them had that shark gun. Something um, similar. Uh, it came out, this Armed and Dangerous, like, in 2003 was the first one. It wasn't a big game, kind of hidden, and I, I I just remember I'd run around and be like, oh, watch this, Jaws is going to jump up and, and meet everybody. Wait, hey, so where's your dildo bat from Saints Row 3? <laughs> I thought that was going to be your number one, man. You said uh, that last that's week. What I, thought. Yeah. I don't know. I've been thinking I about think it. that's his personal dildo. favorite. Yeah, <laughs> like, we shouldn't go there. Though. Thanks, Rob. What was yours? <laughs> Tildo bat. Um, I'm not a big weapons person, but um, I the first weapon I always enjoyed was in Splinter Cell his 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 pistol. I always thought that was the coolest weapon, just to sneak around a corner and pop someone in the head with. It got better throughout the the series. And I think in the in the last one. What's the last one called? Blacklist or something? This, this, his little uh, silent um, pistol was satisfying to shoot people with. Um, and Tomb Raider, the the arrow, the bow and arrow, mm-hmm. I found that the most satisfying weapon to ever use in a game. It's when you when you got the headshot off perfectly, yeah, right. um, you just you felt you felt awesome because you just you just see them. But uh, maybe it was in the way they portrayed the way that they died and stuff when you hit them right. But um, that was probably my overall favourite weapon. Um, and I go right back to the Knights of the Old Republic, um, the game that got me hooked on Xbox. Um, just running around with light was the, the dual lightsaber. Um, I loved I loved Star Wars, the movies and stuff. So to be able to run around being a Jedi with, with these lightsabers and kicking ass like that, um, that would always be one of my favourite weapons. I got more favorite weapons, guys. Actually, my third one is the Golden Gun from 007 on 64. Yeah. You remember that shit? <laughs> one hit kill, it man. Doesn't. Boom. It you're doesn't. done. Dude, that gun was awesome. I remember playing so much with that did gun. Did you play the 007 uh, remake there? I did. I tried that one for the 360. And yeah. I don't know, man. It looked like shit. It was garbage. <laughs> no nostalgia from it? Nothing, eh? nothing, man. Nothing. It looks no, garbage. It's like fuck fucking it. shitty. Well, I had the golden like, gun. It was fun. It wasn't bad. It was. It was a definite Call, call of Duty ripoff clone, all that stuff. But it was fun. Yeah. It was nostalgic. That's what I, I had going for it. With, I remember getting with four people. Actually, we had a, we had a handful, five or six people. We just, you know, this is back before high school. You know, what was that? Ninety seven, ninety eight. Oh, well, anyways, I remember just getting together with five or. Or six playing all day, passing the control back and forth. Got the split screen, four four people on there, trying to hide in vents. But you know, you can see other people's screen. Obviously, if it's split split screen, so you're trying <laughs> trying not to let people know where you're at. But I re- I remember that being the first like multiplayer experience, basically. Yeah, same year for me. That was my first one. I remember playing it with my cousin because he had a 64, and him and my brother and me would always play on that, and it would be the split screen, like you said. And, and yeah, that was like my first multiplayer experience as well. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Another one of my favorite weapons, you know, we just talk about favorite weapons for a second here. Some other one of my favorite iconic weapons that I will always remember is the Silver Ballers from Hitman. Those things are just fucking badass, man. I remember playing Hitman, and ever since the first one that I played, those things are fucking great. Is that the dual, the dual pistols? Yeah, the dual pistols, you can customize them and put silencers on them and, like, extended mags and fucking awesome laser sights and shit. 
They're yeah. fucking beautiful weapons. Yeah, I played Hitman Absolution. That was the only one I played, but that was a lot of fun, man. Just the way you could kind of execute any situation a hundred different ways. Is that one the game you want to? The game you really want to play is uh is is uh Hitman Blood Money, man. That's the one that really brings out like all the the shit you can do as Hitman and the disguises and everything. That game was the one you want to play. Yeah. So is it worth going back and playing it? Yeah, I would. I heard a little pause there. You're like, uh, well, he's yeah. like, I don't well, have well, a 360. Well, 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 I, I bought, uh, I bought the uh, the HD remakes actually when they came out with the HD remake, and I thought the first two games that they remade on that was they were garbage, but Blood Money was beautiful, man. It's an awesome game. Okay, speaking of these HD remakes, because they got Last of Us coming out for the PS4. I know, has anybody played it in here? Anybody? No, I silenced crickets. <laughs> okay, so they, cricket. okay, they did that with with uh. Okay, Last of Us is coming out in in June, I believe, with the DLC. Okay, all all these games coming out when they're remastering or 1080p or upping the upping the P's. Is it worth it? Is it worth paying the full sixty bucks? Or you think they're just trying to get more money out of them? Well, I think it's worth it when they. When they bring something with it, like a DLC. Oh, what about Tomb Raider? Was Tomb Raider? Yeah, I know you got it on sale for a little bit cheaper, but I bought it day one for the full price, and I thought it was still worth it because I really love that game on the Xbox 360. I wanted to experience it all again on the PS4 with new um, trophies, so I paid the full price, no problem. You know, it's for I, the 1080. I, I, I wouldn't pay full price for that game. No, no. Did you pay 30 for it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Didn't you say you had it on the Xbox, the PS3 as well? Yeah. I had it paid, on both. You paid 120 plus 30. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. But like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, like, when they came out day one on the on the Xbox One, I didn't want to pay 60. Maybe it's because I played it twice before. Yeah, I played it. But it's too. Not, so what's a good price? Forty five. Forty five sounds better, right? Forty five. I would bucks. say remakes. Remakes, yes. Forty five bucks. Forty bucks. Forty five. You're gonna sell a lot more. Yeah, that that sounds that sounds better. I, I was happy with paying the full full price because I really loved Tomb Raider and I wanted to play it again. Yeah, like how good did that Halo Anniversary Edition, the one that they remade the first one for the 360? How good did that even sell on the on the 360 when it came out? I think it sold pretty good, pretty well actually. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Hey guys, if you could pick one game from the 360. Or the PS3 to be ported over to next gen, what would it be? Bio- Mass Effect. Bioshock Infinite. No, Mass Effect. Bioshock Infinite. Mass Effect. Bioshock Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Mass Effect combo pack. Okay. Ma- Mass Effect, all of the Mass Effects, dude. Fuck it. Mm. Or Skyrim. If you bring Skyrim to the Xbox oh, One, that game yes. look yeah. fucking beautiful, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, the death of- oh, fuck, dude. But that's all the skills Sky- online. Why not? It's the same thing, right? It is, but no. I think I think I looked at gameplay from the Elder Scrolls Online, and it looks shittier than Skyrim, dude. It's because there's so much shit going on, on the screen at once. Yeah, they couldn't have the fancy graphics, you know. Uh, it looks like I got a lot of fun. I'd like to see the Walking Dead. You know, I know we we beat this. Walking Dead. We beat this. Walking Dead. <laughs> Walking Dead HD remake. <laughs> that and y'all could kill me, but I mean, I'd like to see Black Ops Two come over. I mean, I Ooh. hate ghosts. I, I do Call of Duty Four Modern Warfare. I'll do it. And what if What if they said? What if Call of Duty this year said, "You know what, guys? We're going back to what made everything popular. We're going to remake Call of Duty Four. So hell Modern yeah, Warfare. boy. That's fine. No, I think that would sh- that would start a shitstorm. People would be frustrated as fuck. I don't think so. I think there would sell a shitload of copies. Do you That's think so? Bad. They would. They would. Oh man, everybody, everybody would. loves the game. Everybody. Okay. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the first one, with, like, an HD remake and, like, just more guns and shit. That'd be awesome, More Marty Doms. Just dropping live grenades hey, when you die. And, and you get all the DLCs that came out with Modern Warfare 4 with the game. Hey, you guys. Modern that War is a perfect... Uh, Call of Duty 4, you mean? Yeah. That is a perfect Modern transition, actually, to our next question, which is a wild moment in gaming. Because let me tell you... Mine is the ghillie suit mission in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. 
which I do not remember. That I remember that mission a lot, man. That's one of my favorite missions where you're just crawling through the fucking grass and fucking tanks are rolling by you. And you snipe that guy in the so. air. You got to take wind. And, oh, and then when you try to escape and everybody's fucking fucking you up and oh you're God. trying to run with your buddy. Oh, good. Yeah, man. And then you have to carry him. Yes. That's awesome. Yes, yes, That's yes. awesome. That's awesome. And I remember great. none of that, man. It's been a long time. What? Yeah, Modern Warfare man. 2. Modern Warfare 2. Uh, another, 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 another epic gaming moment was that nuke. Dude, remember that mission when you're in Modern Warfare 2, actually, when you're going into that town in, like, Afghanistan or whatever, and you're just fucking kicking in doors looking for some guy, and in the end he fucks everybody up and just blows the town with the nuke? Yeah. That mission was crazy. The beginning of that mission is awesome, where you're, where you're just flying in, dude, and you see all these helicopters around you, and you're just like, fuck yeah, we're going to go in here and fuck this place up. That shit's awesome. What about on uh, Modern Warfare 2, and you're walking through the um, airport, just shooting civilians? No. <laughs> no, you don't that's, remember that? That, that? That's cool, but it's not an epic. Yeah, <laughs> not, but, epic. But it was, that mission was so hyped up, but that was, time I played it, I was like, really? This is it? Uh, this is what I, people I were hear. freaking out about? Uh, okay, I, mean, yeah, I didn't hear anything about it. Frick, I don't know. But. If there was little kids in that Agreed. airport, then that would have been like crazy oh, shit. Yeah. That, would, that would have been next gen, buddy. Next gen. Next gen killing kids. <laughs> wow, I'm just, a, is I'm that what we've come to now? <laughs> Defining next generation by <laughs> killing kids? To the next level, uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you have got issues. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, one, of, one, of my, one of my favorite gaming moments, a really wow moment that I just felt like it was so badass. Was in Saints Row Three, where you're going into that fucking, you're going into that penthouse, and you're gonna take that place over, and the Kanye West song comes on. Yes, with that pimp that, guy with that, the um. Yeah, dude, and you're up there with that fucking helicopter. You jump off of that motherfucker. You just go down there, and start fucking everybody up. That mission is the intro to that mission. is like fuck, that there, shit's awesome. There was a lot of epic missions like that on Saints Row Three. Just the way it started off when you're. The helicopter's carrying that thing, that crate, and you're on top of it shooting everybody, and you got that, you got the gat, <laughs> like uh, that costume thing on the the mascot, <laughs> signing autographs and shit as you're going into the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Uh, was fun. Uh, y'all, I'm a more of an old school gamer, um, and you know, talking about that, one of my epic moments was. Uh, Mike Tyson's punch out on the original NES, <laughs> getting to Mike Tyson, just being like, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do? I mean, that was so hard. And that was like every year I make sure I play that game one time. But that was a huge moment for me being a, you know, 10 year old kid that was, you know, that defied, you know, what gaming was at that time. And then another one was when the, the Sega CD came out, putting in Night Trap. Oh man, no one's supposed to play some Night Trap. It was amazing. And I know that's older games, and maybe some of y'all don't, haven't played those, but I mean, those were two huge moments for me in gaming. A fighting game that I played a lot back when I was a kid, it was on the Super Nintendo. I played a lot of Killer Instinct, man. The original Killer Instinct. I played a shitload of that game. That game was awesome. Mm. And I remember it specifically because. It was on a black cartridge instead of the regular gray ones. Yes. It was all black. Yes. That shit was awesome looking. I always thought it was so cool because it was on that black cartridge. I was like, this is awesome. I remember that game. Taran, right. what was yours? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to go way back as well because you know I, I grew up playing Commodore 64 games. One of the first PC games that I ever played was a game called um, Return to Zork. Um which the previous editions of Zork were all uh, word-based games, so you, you went around by go east, go west, go north, whatever. Pick this up, pick it up, and you, so you type that stuff in to, to get what you want. But Return to Zork released, and all of a sudden, it was, it was kind of the same type of thing, but it was all graphical, and the graphics for, for those days were absolutely mind-blowing, and I just thought, far man, gaming has come so far, and I had so much fun with that game honestly can't remember anything about the story or what the hell I did in that game, but I just remember <clears throat> playing that game and playing it for hours on end because it was just, for me, because I, I, visually it was just a very stunning game and, 
in the interaction that you were having with the characters and, and you could literally walk up to anybody in the game and, and start a conversation with them. And um, that kind of really brought me into PC gaming and, and, and so forth. And for me, that was a very a, a big wow moment. And I, I doubt there's very few people out there who even know what Re- Return to Zork is, but it's a game that always sticks in my mind of, of being one of the best games I ever played. <clears throat> so what what year was that? Oh shit, really? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going it, it's tw- over twenty years ago. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was a teenager when I played that. Um, you know, all the games now. I played back then, even like the NES, I don't remember anything about. The one game you know, I like, do remember, right from beginning to end, the game called uh, Zach McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders. That was the coolest game. You, you're on you're on this plane, and you had to 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 get the the stewardess away from um, a, a certain area. You had to go down to the microwave, stick an egg in the microwave, and blow up the microwave. <laughs> and that's how you. If you did that in a game today, you'd probably be arrested. If you put um, an just, egg in the microwave, it'll blow up. Mm. <laughs> you'll, blow yep. up you'll actually yeah. blow up the microwave. I don't know if you blow up the microwave, but it makes a hell of a mess of the microwave, and so she had to go away and clean it. But oh, okay. Zach, Zach McCracken's one of the coolest games. I've, I just like the name Zach McCracken and the Alien Mind Vendors. That, that's, that's the greatest name ever. I, I remember <laughs> playing uh, Phantasmagora on my uh, PC, oh, yeah. and, I mean, seeing some of the stuff that happens in that game, I mean, you, I, I had never seen violence like that, you know, mm. in a game. And that I was game just like, scared the shit out of me. My God! I mean, you're you're cutting people's heads off. You're you're mm. killing them. You're you know making their heads explode. I mean, I mean now I can put a game in, and you know it's normal to see. But back then it was just like, man, this is and it's mm. full, you know, full motion video. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah, because the yeah again the graphics are great, but the story was really good too, and, and it all held together quite well right throughout that game, and and they were really jump out of your skin moments in that game. And, yeah. and, and, and there was nudity. It was kind of the first time you really seen nudity in a game. That's the only reason I played it was for the... <laughs> the, yeah. the only I'm not the swear <laughs> no, they, they, were, they were roundish. They weren't bad. Roundish. So, As for me... You want, to see, you want to see nudity in a game on a console, play The Witcher, man. That yeah. shit is crazy. Or a Grand Theft Auto Five. I mean, yeah. On that yeah, strip club... Yeah. Vanilla Press right Rhino. trigger to, like, grab some ass? Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> see how long you could do it before the bouncer sees you? Yeah, what was that? <laughs> Teaching you how to be a perv? Pubescent yeah. boys were just, like, freaking my having son, a glorious my, time with that? My son keeps asking me, Daddy, can I play? You know, he's 11. I'll let him play Call of Duty. He plays um, Titanfall. Um, you know, he's, play, he's but he's wanting to play Grand Theft Auto Five. I'm like, nope. That's <laughs> where I, I draw the line. That's daddy's so this, uh, this, territory. This up, this brings up a very good topic, guys. Gaming for kids as parents. What do you guys think? Wait, kids, wait, wait. wait. How, how old should they be? No, how? I mean, you can just opinionate if you don't have a kid. But how old should your kid be to allow them to play games like Call of Duty and mature rated games like Titanfall and Gears of War and oh. all these other fucking awesome who, games? Who, who all in here has number. kids? I, I, I have, have a daughter. And, you have a daughter. And, I have two. Daniel has two. Rob, do you have any? No, man. No. no. Okay. Well, let's let's see what, what we could come up here. We got three people with kids and two without a kid. So, what do you guys think? My son's 11. He's been playing for about a year. He got a 360 last year for Christmas. Well, I guess it was two years ago, not not this year, but. And, um, yes, I will let him play Call of Duty. Yes, I will let him play Titanfall. You no, I will not bastard. let him play um, Grand Theft Auto. I, there, you know, but, see, I'm a gamer, so I know more about what he can play. He's got friends whose parents buy him them Grand Theft Auto Five, but they have no idea what's in the game. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kind of. So you will you let your kid play that mission where you go to the airport in Modern Warfare Two and shoot everybody? <laughs> yes, because he knows the difference. <laughs> he does. But see, it's how you yeah. raise your child. I mean, he knows mm. the difference. You gotta beat him sometimes, you know. You know, I mean, <laughs> he he's been spending the night over at a friend's house and um, they were playing uh, Madden. He hates Madden, but he goes, "I'm going to have a fun time doing this and playing it." 
with somebody. He knows I know it's fake. You know, when we play a game together, he knows it's not real. You know, it's part of the story. And you have to teach your kids that. Are, are, are you afraid that now, since games are getting more real and real and real and real and real, they look really realistic nowadays. I mean, some games look fucking good. Do you feel like that's going to change the way you, the way you let your kid play? Well, I mean, my kid's already 11. I mean, how old's your daughter, right? Y'all? She's little, man. She's three, going to be three the next month. So, I mean, when are you going to let your start, daughter start playing it? Four. Uh, <laughs> she's she's already playing Titanfall with me, man. What are you talking about? Shit. No, I mean I don't. That's what honestly I don't know. I mean I ask you because you have older kids. That's why I'm wondering when should I let my daughter play games? It's it's hard. It's one of those things. That I mean I, to... I could probably let her play some Dora the Explorer, fucking Magical Kingdom, or some shit on on you know on the console or whatever on PC, and, and she might have fun with that. But when should I let her play more crazier games? I guess. My son's Bye. fifth grade, eleven, eleven. It's, it's. I think I've made the right decision. I can, you know, he doesn't talk. To, he's not allowed to talk to people online. I worry about that more than the game he plays. You know, oh, so you like you? So, so when you get when he gets into a lobby, you you have him mute everybody on there, so they don't call him like. No, bad, you can you know? set it up. There's a way on the Xbox you can go to his profile and hook it to yours and do parental yeah. goes um, controls where oh, he can only oh. talk to. Um, his friends on his friends list, nobody else. And so I have to approve every friend he has on his friends list. Um, so, I mean, that's how I, I do that. So it's, that's an awesome feature. That's good that you brought that up. Cause maybe some of our listeners have kids and they don't know about that feature, you know? Yeah. You know, all they have to do is tap space bar a bunch of times and then they'll completely bypass <laughs> the parental controls. I actually read that the other day. My son's not <laughs> smart, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to be that smart to press space uh, bar. But what, what, what about you, Brink? What do you think? What do you think a kid should be at an age to play? Get, let's say a game like a, like a shooting game. Let's say Battlefield or Titanfall. Okay. Games that are really, because I mean, these games are popular, man. You. <laughs> Every year, Call of Duty blows up the TV with ads every five seconds. What do you think? I will tell you, my five-year-old right now is playing Happy Feet, like from the movie, the video game. Yeah. Uh, which is a very sure. innocent game. Uh, if I had to throw out a number, uh, for a game like uh, Grand Theft Auto, for example, yeah, I think for that game specifically, like uh, 16, 15, 16. I have to agree with there. you. But what about Call of Duty? Uh, yeah, Call of Duty. Call of Duty that shooting game. I would say 13, 14. I mean, look, yeah. dude, my nephew, they're teaching him sex ed. He's in the fifth grade. Well, my son came home the other day and said, hey, Daddy, I, uh, I've learned about, you know, masturbation today. And I'm like, what? What? They're telling me about this at school? You know, we have to stop. And he's 11 in fifth grade. I mean, and they're... You know, well, that's that's the age. I mean, when did you guys learn about sex ed? I mean, I I learned it in fifth grade. I learned no, it in I'm, eighth grade. Man. I'm not trying to be dirty on here. I'm just saying what he's come home and told <laughs> me. You know. Yeah, I mean, I understand completely, but my point is, a lot of gamers, you know, and I see this a lot. You know, I go to stores, dude, and I see people buying games for their kids because their kid is saying, you know what, Dad, I want to play this game, and I see the game they want to play. And it's GTA Five or some hardcore fucking game like Battlefield or Call of Duty or something. And they're always saying, we want this game. And the parent just buys it for them. And the people at the store have to sell it to the parent because the parent's over 18 thing, or whatever. I won't do that. I won't I, I won't just go into a store. My, I've gone into a store before when my son was younger. He'd be like, oh, I want this. I said, Caleb, that game is horrible. Get this game instead. You'll like it more. You know, I try to push him towards the good games and what they do. I know, uh, you know, Ines and Rob don't have kids. So what, what, what do you do with your kids if you did? Let when me, you see kids in the public, you know, with, with shit like that. Yeah. Let them do whatever they want, man. They're not my kids. <laughs> <laughs> my, my opinion on that is exactly what uh, Hook said before. It's up to the parent, and the parent knows their kid the best. Um, if the kid's mature enough to handle it, <clears throat> I don't see a problem with it. But if they're not, then uh, it needs to be more controlled. Um I, I I definitely don't think I haven't enjoyed the times when I've been on um GTA to hear and hear this whiny eleven old voice in my ear set, um, who has absolutely no idea what the game 
is about and they start talking about, oh, I'm going to go over here and fuck up this person and rob his, uh, rob his liquor store or whatever. And so I'm not sure that's a good thing. Um, and particularly when he said his mum is just in the other room so he can't talk too loudly so she hears him playing it. <clears throat> that's bad parenting for me. The parents should know what the kid's doing. Um, but at the end of the day, it's um, you can't, if it's available to the kid and he gets it, so be it. But it's up to the kid, up to the parents to control what's happening. A child, if they want to play a game, they are going to get a hold of it. Do you think you think it's going to be a problem, a bigger problem nowadays when we are moving into a digital age where everything's digital? You're not going to need a parent to go to the store and buy you a game. You could buy that shit on your console. Yeah, yeah but you're going to have to have a credit card. And yeah. Where are you going to get a credit card? That's true. Oh, no, no, no. If you go... Hey, you got those prepaid not, uh, cards. Yeah. It's not hard to get a credit yeah, card. But... Anyone... Anyone can get a credit card now. Yeah. But what right. I do is I take the iPad, I put my name on it, I put, you know, set up everything in mm. my name. So it it's always coming to me and letting yeah. me know. And it's smart parenting. There's not enough of that going on. But, I mean, how many parents know how to do that? I mean, that's the question. That's my question because I always see it at the store, man. I go to the store and I see people, you know, with their, with their kids. And they're, the kid's asking, you know, I want to play this game. And the people at the store are telling the parent, you do know this game is rated mature, and the parents are like, oh, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, I know my son. He, yeah. He's okay. I, I play this fucking game. What is this, Call of Duty or whatever? I went to you the know, store. There's worse right. stuff out there. I went to the yeah. store yesterday and bought my son Titanfall for the 360. Now, do you think Titanfall is bad, is a bad game? I mean, no. that a kid shouldn't play? I mean, it's but it's rated mature. I mean, it's it's just one of those things that... I know my son. I know my son's mature enough. I know my son better than, you know, how he'll act. He's not going to play, you know, uh, Grand Theft Auto where you can just run up and shoot anybody. Um, I don't even think he played the, the Modern Warfare 3 where you go to the um, airport because he didn't start playing games till, uh, you know, Black Ops 2 was his first big game. But um, it's just how do you parent your child? You're... You have to teach them. I grew up playing everything. I played Mortal Kombat. I remember the the code for my Sega A B A C A B B. You know, to put in the blood. I didn't grow up and murder <laughs> people. It's it's just how you parent. Yeah. But, and like I, you know, well, Titanfall is a little bit different. Titanfall is based on like this fictional world, yeah, man. It's fantasy. Uh, g- games like Call of Duty though are based in reality. They're based on soldiers on on tanks and. Real fucking people you're shooting. You're shooting like a person. Yeah. Like a soldier. You're shooting another soldier, a Taliban or whatever the fuck they are. Yeah. It's a difference. Uh, I mean, even like playing Halo. I mean, you play Halo, you, you know you can't jump 30 feet in the air and you're fucking doing all that shit. And the blood is that, like well, neon colored and stuff. Or yeah, like well, what, what, I, I guess. what I think the problem is is parents letting their kids get on consoles and playing online and having the chat. Like that's why I, th- I think I think you made a good choice, Cook. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, letting your kid not being able to access chat because chat is where shit gets really bad. You know, people are people say mean things to those kids out there. You know, and those kids, you know, they don't under, they don't know better. Yeah, there's a lot of racism, even if it's you know real. It's not like that. That's how they really feel. But it's, you know, any word you can say, the worst words you can say are going to be said on multiplayer online games. He's going to hear the worst <laughs> words you can say at school by his friends. I mean, it doesn't matter if he plays. But, but, where, but where are his friends learning these words from? I mean, their parents are not telling, teaching them this shit, probably. Yeah, but it's most likely they get online, they play these games, you know, they're learning all these words. You heard a bad word when you were a kid. I'm, you know, I'm yeah. very, I went, they, they didn't have this stuff. I heard it from school from my friends. Oh, they would come in and be like, hey, hey say this word, you know. Yeah. Uh, you're we we used to sneak anyway. off together and just go out in the field and like say cuss words and stuff. Cause I double awesome. dog dare you to say this to the teacher. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but be giggling but and stuff. It's called being a parent and you know doing what's right for your child. You know. Well, so, all right. As long well. as you know they're robbing liquor stores and beating hookers, and it's okay. <laughs> that, it's all good. Okay, we got that cleared up. Oh, well, it's just a topic that I wanted to bring up for a quick second and discuss with you guys because you guys are parents, you know, and you could get some input on that kind of stuff. It's all subjective. Each kid needs 
you know, to be treated a little bit differently. And you just have to be smart as a parent and know your kid and know know what's out there, you know. It, and it's not easy. Everybody makes mistakes, so we all know that. Parenting's hard today. I, I don't envy you guys at all. We have to bring up a kid in today's world. It's it's a lot different to how most of us were brought up. Things were a lot Technology, different. man. Mm-hmm. Think about mm-hmm. internet. Kids, yeah. nowadays, every kid has access to the internet no matter what. When I when I go to work, I, I have a couple of people that I work with, and they have teenage kids, and they tell me their stories about, you know, um, they're f- finding out about sex and, and and all that sort of stuff. Now it's like, fuck that, man. I'm I'm glad I just got dogs. They just do what I'm telling telling them to do. <laughs> Most I, I don't of the time, need, my dogs always do what I tell them to do. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, I, I don't envy you guys who have kids today, and it's not something I want to do. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, good. Right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good, man. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. So what's up? Good for you. All right, guys. Let's talk news here. Let's talk Titanfall. Titanfall oh, has yeah. announced a new uh, new modes and DLC coming out next month. DLC is the first DLC for Titanfall. It's going to have... What is it going to have, guys? Tell me. I mean, there's Titan... There's supposed to be three, well, three new maps. Uh, also, uh, you can customize your your Titan. Wait, wait, wait. Do you, did you say did you say three new maps? Yeah, is that, I think that's what it is. Uh, three. three, but that's it. Three isn't like isn't isn't standard like multiplayer shooting games supposed to have four maps like Call of Duty? Yeah, yeah. but they're bringing hashtags to Titanfall. You can find yeah, your hashtags. Through hashtags. That's like a whole new map. Wait, wait, whoa. Whoa. wait, 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 whoa! This is revolutionary right here. They're bringing <laughs> hashtags yeah, onto bro. the Xbox One to find private Xbox. games. Yeah, hashtags. They're, define this shit for me. Hashtags. hashtags. Tell me how this. Tell dog. me how this works. And you're gonna find a game with the Wiener Dog you're in it. You're gonna hashtag Wiener Dog. Find a game with some guy who you like. So people can get on Xbox One and say, hashtag Jesus Walks a lot. We're going to play with this fucker right now. And they're going to find me. Again. If you are in a private match, yes, sir. Oh, only private matches. Only private matches, yes. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, what it says is, um, also, you'll be able to meet up with new Titan, no, with new Titan fall players by using identical hashtags. So maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. We get on Facebook and we say, hashtag Jesus Walks a lot. And everyone types that in and we connect. I'm not sure. Actually, there's not a lot of info on it. Then what the fuck's the point of announcing it? They're not going to give info on it. It just, just seemed cool. I'm th- we're throwing some hashtags in our game, so we're cool. Hashtag Titanfall. You think? Do you guys? Do you guys think Call of Duty is going to come out with this shit this year? Yo, we got max and hashtags. We revolutionized <laughs> this. Shit. Right. You think they're going to announce that? <clears throat> Underwater mech warfare with hashtags. It, it could be. Cool, I guess. Um, it'll be as good as Battle SWAT. It'll be good. Well, what well, if what if Call of Duty comes out with hashtags for the clans? You fight a clan. Hashtag that clan. Everyone's yeah. moving towards hashtags for some reason. So. I don't even know. Yeah, I, mean, really I don't get that. that. Do you guys think it's good? You guys think it's good? I think it's dumb. What the fuck does hashtag got to do with gaming? I don't well, you know what? We, Twitter, dude. Twitter. We Twitter hashtag. By the way, hashtag us at over at yeah, Global Gamers Podcast. Come join us. Anyways, <laughs> We've only got one but, but <laughs> I think it's me. Uh, <laughs> fuck, I'm talking to you. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think even I seen all those posts. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy posting about? Talking to me and shit. You know what else? But uh, what are they adding? Customizable Titans, which uh, could be uh, your own emblem creator, which could be uh, lots of Titans running around with pictures of penises and naked <laughs> chicks. So you said a lot of people are going to get banned in the next month? Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, Black Ops, dude, every other person online had a penis as their emblem. You know what? They, 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 they spent all day making this, like, HD penis with, like, <laughs> squares. Like, I, hate it. I hated the swastikas, man. I hated when they made those Nazi flags. Oh, that shit used to... Or the penis that swastikas. <laughs> I used to a swastika and a penis, like, together. Like, yeah, there's a man. swastika made of penises. <laughs> That's the worst. Fading boobies in the background. When they made the, when they made those fucking Hitler flags and shit, I was like, God, what is this shit? Do a lot of people make that's this? The peop- that's the world we live in, man. If what they took like that creativity and put it towards something useful, they could be, man, they could be the ones who run this shit in <laughs> 10 years, man. Yeah. Yeah. But what they're making the penis swastikas. But seriously, though, even just decals would be would be a step forward 
for Titanfall. I mean, just just a little something to spice it up is cool with me. Just to like yeah. make my Titans uh, a, a distinguishable from everybody else's. Like, uh, I like customizing shit. I'm 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 a sucker for that kind of stuff. You know who had that? Uh, like like uh, the what's that game called? Assassin's Creed multiplayer had decals. You think they're gonna be pre-made decals or decals you can make yourself? They will probably be pre-made. I mean. They they might completely rip off the emblem creator for Call of Duty. I mean, it's Infinity War, but I think Treyarch are the ones who really pioneered that anyway. So who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I would I would really go for a customizable paint job. Just have a hot red paint job on your Titan. Yeah, just have a hot pink Titan just rolling around destroying shit, man. Right. Neon orange, neon blue. I mean, why not? Well, That'd be pretty cool, man. What if it's a little decal on the arm, a little patch? That's <laughs> that you can only That's no, no. Stupid. It's on the back of the head in that in that little area where you have to rip the duct tape off. That Bink was talking about. You rip the duct tape off. You pull that little thing off the top of the head, and there's a little emblem in there. And it's just the only person you get to see it. Yeah, who knows? They could yeah. do anything with it. Should we uh, talk about the patch that was already just released recently? Yeah, actually, there was a patch released. And uh, what does it fix? It fix party parties, I guess? Apparently in the uh, multiplayer, I mean, you can press uh, left trigger now, and it will instantly snap in party. So you don't have to say Xbox snap or do it with your controller, you know? So Is it is it faster than the Xbox snap party? I, I actually was playing with Imes the other day, and I kept hitting my left trigger, and it kept pulling up my, my, my party. And I was like, why does it keep pulling up my party? You know? <laughs> so, I mean, it was pr- pretty fast. I didn't enjoy... You know, just always pulling that up. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I had my buddy over here the other day while I was playing, and I was handing him the controller, and the party kept popping up, and I kept had, unsnap, Xbox unsnap, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? It just, like, literally ten times, and I had to say, Xbox unsnap. Now, now that you said that, that sense. He's probably just accidentally hitting that trigger. So, thank you, man. Actually, we do learn something on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the color, we are very the color changes are, are a nice addition as well. Like now you can uh, easily yeah, distinguish everybody, in everybody who's in your party. And you yep. can uh, your Titan, I think, is going to be green as well, so you can easily see it. Because I, I don't know about you, but games like that, I'm constantly looking over at the mini map just to see where everybody's at, you know? Yes. It's just something they should have had from the beginning, like Call of Duty, man. I think, you know, I think Call of Duty does that too, doesn't it? Make your party green or something like that or blue. I think so. And yeah, I know Battlefield so has a ton of uh, features like that for people who are colorblind. So, yeah, I mean, it's all cool. They also it's awesome. saw the press, right where you can get twelve people in and just play uh, on both sides. Is that true? Private match, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to do that actually for the community on on horrible gamers. If you guys are listening right now, you know, if we could all team up, you know, and you guys want to play with us, we can all get on Titanfall one day. You know, you guys can play against us or with us. Yeah, that's and cool. Have a go at it, man. You know that'd be pretty awesome, I think. So, so now, even if we lose, Twitch. at least somebody on our our team is winning. Technically, the, the the only problem with that is that you don't get XP for ranking up or challenges. All right, and talk also, about challenges. What do you think about the the goosehead challenge, the fifty to five? Oh man, I'm loving that. I was dreading the day that I got to that generation and had to fucking do those. That challenge, and I still do. Five of those skills are hard, man. I don't even have one in the whole time I've been playing Titanfall. If y'all don't know, the goose head challenge is you have to shoot what well, was fifty, now five people as they're ejecting out of their Titan. But imagine being somebody who grinded away. I mean, they're sweating and bleeding and crying, <laughs> and they're freaking. They, their wives divorced them. You know, <laughs> the whole family left them. You know, they, they're shitting themselves, <laughs> and they finally. Unlock that you said challenge the next day a news article <laughs> and then, reduced oh, to get from fifty man. to five. I mean, how would you feel about oh, that? Oh man, I'd be pissed. Yeah, I was watching someone. Well, I'm assuming. Today. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that those people are are either boosting a lot of them boosted it. You know, they told their friend, "Hey, get in this game lobby and just join them randomly and try to be on the other team." You know, when their team was full. But it, I don't know. It's that, really hard that would to be hard to even boost that one. Respawn mm. actually said that they're going to give those people who actually grinded and got the fifty a special patch or or something, some special recognition for actually doing fifty. Oh, uh, uh, really? Our T-shirt. That's what they, they should mean. give them some free DLC. They should. 
No, they should give him some patch. I did 50. That's what I should say. I did 50. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just Penis. a 5 Why not? So I did 50. That's all I have to say, man. <laughs> yeah, I did 50. <laughs> would, yeah. would that be a hashtag? I did 50. Hashtag. hashtag. Hashtag, I did 50. Hashtag, good. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Man? That should have worked out. How, how about some new... Weapons. Why did they not, why did they not announce some new weapons? Give us some more. They, give us some more shit, man. Did they not announce any new weapons or titans on no. the DLC? I haven't read about no, it. Fair. I just know that they it's not. DLC. just new maps. That's it. No weapons. So so all we're really getting is three maps and a stupid little emblem you can probably put on your on your titan. We're getting three maps and and uh, how is this? penises. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know how this is considered a, a DLC that should be worth for the season pass, guys. I mean, Call of Duty gives us, dude, Call of Duty, even ever since, was it Modern Warfare? Black Ops 2, they've been giving us weapons and four brand new multiplayer maps. And Titanfall gets away with giving away three maps and a little does, emblem. Does that four maps, does that include, uh, like, the, the uh, zombie mode, whatever it's called? It's usually three yeah, it's plus time. one, right? Or is it four yeah. plus one? Usually three but plus the one. Season or pass was twenty five dollars, man. That that yeah. I mean, it's dirt cheap compared to the fifty dollars I spent for Battlefield Four. So I'm not so expecting thinking, too much, but I, and I'm sure over the next couple of years they'll be rolling it out. Yeah, but how many maps did Titan Call Fall come with? What thirteen? Fifteen, I thought. Thirteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16? How many maps was does 20? Call of Duty usually come with? Seven. Nine. About 16. About oh. 13. Oh, Nine? Between 1 and 20, somewhere. No, <laughs> no, isn't there like... Was it... <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs> wasn't, there like, wasn't there like 9 or 10 maps from the... Wasn't the what was the last one? Ghost? How much was that one? Shit, like 6, 7 maps, man. Has to be it. No way. No uh, way. This way. At least that's what it has you play. I mean... Yeah. It's coming with, what, three new maps? No, no, no. Okay, the reason Titanfall has all these fucking maps that you guys are saying, it's because they switch them up. That's all they fucking do from, from when you're playing Attrition or Hardpoint or Titan, Last Titan Standing or the campaign in the regular modes. They switch them up a little bit. That's the only difference. But how, right? how many maps do you really want? I mean, I have to sit here and learn a I want four maps. I want 100. On my DLC, man. I want four maps on my DLC. That's what I fucking want. Yeah. Why not? Why couldn't they do four maps on the DLC and take away the decals? Give me a customized paint for my time. Yeah, the first, the very first DLC should have been four new maps, four new weapons, and customizable Titans. All of it. I do that Get right there. Fuck Damn. Yeah, right there. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> you, you should go work for them, man. Enough uh, said. Enough I'm, said. That's it. Go work for those guys. That's it. Screw you guys. I'm I'm going to respawn. Hold on, man. I'm, I'm on their I'll, site right now. I'm filling you out an application. How do you spell right, your last name? <laughs> <laughs> Email him your resume real quick. Uh, it's eternity. Oh, man. <laughs> eternity. Uh, that's crazy. What else has been going on in the gaming world? I heard that a uh, civilization is coming out with a new game. Yeah, which is um Beyond Earth, I think. Yeah, it's space, space in the future, man. I'm not in. I haven't really played those games, but my roommate plays it. and He liked uh, Civilization Five. I mean, wow, it it? but it's not coming out for consoles. I believe it's on the uh, yeah. Linux, Mac, and PC. That's what I hate about it. Oh, that game is such a wonderful game. Why couldn't they make a game like that? Just like Civilization Revolution. That game is fun, man. It was for 360 and PS3, I think. Yeah, it was just free too for 360. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wasn't it? Like the games were gold a few months ago or something like that? Last month, I believe. There you go, man. I hope you guys picked that up. Played it. Yeah, I did pick I, it up. I, Didn't play I it. I ever develop insomnia and need to uh, go to sleep real bad, I'll play, I'll play some <laughs> Civilization. Oh, man, you don't know what you're missing out on. That game is really fun. That game is fun as fuck. Are those like real-time strategy games, pretty much? Yeah, they're, like, yeah, they're strategy games. You Basically, you have a country, you build it up. Build new cities, take over the other countries. The only country I want to build up is America. America! And you can, you USA! Can. USA! You pick, you pick, you pick, you pick, you pick like a leader of a, a certain country, so they have like, like, uh, <laughs> Cleopatra runs Egypt, some fucking King Jamun runs North Korea, I don't know, I don't even think North Korea's in there. 
And um, Abraham Lincoln is like the leader, or George Washington for uh, USA or something like that. So you pick a leader, and then you fucking you run with it. You make a country. Rob, did you play any Civ games? Yeah, man, uh, you played any Civ games? I played the hell out of the very original Civ game, and I have played Revolution as well, but for me, uh, nothing's compared to the, to the original, so I haven't really played a lot more since then, but... I enjoy the games. Um, sorry, it's got something on my face. <laughs> um, but if it comes out, I'll play it, but not on PC. My, my PC can barely run Excel. It's not going to play a fucking game like that. <clears throat> You'd be surprised, man. I had a little Mac oh, Mini no. that could run. I would be surprised. Save five, dude. No, my, game, my PC can't. This is, it's... Not with it. I, I remember you talking about what your PC played at what Halo Four, Halo One once, or who was? That? Uh, oh, so that was Brink. Yeah. Uh, oh, was it Brink? Oh yeah, they ran it like a champ, buddy. That was like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Did you beat the game in that one time? Your yeah, no, because all I have is the uh, trackpad, and I like I don't have the keyboard and mouse for it. Well, the built-in keyboard, but all it has is a little the trackpad and the two buttons, you know, for the mouse. Yeah, man, playing the FPS with that is a nightmare. Wow. Yeah, I'm not a PC gamer as well, so don't don't judge me. So none of you, none of you guys play on PC. I don't have a PC. I mean, mm. uh, my, what the fuck are you skyping on right now? <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm, 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 <laughs> this laptop Liar. that I had to wipe everything off of to just run Skype. You had to wipe and, all the porn off of it. Like, it's cool, man. All those porn sites. Uh, too many. Like and Planet Anal and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> My wife has a, a Mac, um, but she won't let me touch touch the Mac. Uh, <laughs> Captain Hook, no. <laughs> she won't let you touch your Mac. Like, no. But, uh, I mean, why play on a PC when there's a console to play on? I put a game in, it runs, don't mm. matter what it is, you know. To be honest, I wish I had a PC that would run games, and I wish I knew how to upgrade um, all the stuff you need when games come out. I wish I wish you didn't, man, because you're the one who has two consoles, and you cover the PS4 stuff for us. No, honestly, dude, because, I mean, I love console gaming. I just love being able to put a game into my console, and not having to worry about the drivers, the graphics card, the fucking RAM, all that shit. You know, that's what I love yeah, about. They console say gaming. that these days it's not like that anymore. I mean, I wouldn't know, but that I would say bullshit because every time a new game comes out, it comes out with the fucking spec sheet. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. I don't have yeah. two thousand dollars to buy a good PC to run stuff when I can buy a three hundred or four hundred dollar console. That have, have you seen the, like the videos of uh, uh, budget PCs that are meant to be on par, like with the Xbox and PS4, and they actually outperform them a little bit for the same price, maybe even a little bit less. So that that argument, I mean, even though I'm a console gamer myself, I I've, I've never owned a gaming PC, but I just have to throw that out there. Well, so look at the, sad to get. the Steam boxes that are coming out. I mean, they're still a thousand, you know, two thousand dollars if you get the Alien Wear one. I mean, is that worth that when I can't play everything on it? Only that what's on Steam. When I just, yeah, once 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 your Steam machine becomes well, once once your once your PC becomes obsolete, man, you can't play shit on it. Yeah. Look at Rob. He can't play new games. Yeah, but I couldn't play games on it when I bought it, so. <laughs> you can play <laughs> Halo 1. No, play Brinkwood. Solitaire. So that matters. Man. Solitaire. But, uh, oh, Brinkwood? I never bought my PC yeah. for, uh, for gaming. I, I've always had it. Yeah. Console I can guarantee it. you guys can play one game on your PC right now. You guys should go buy it. It's an awesome game. Minecraft. Oh god! Oh, I, don't even get me started on Minecraft. You, you know, <laughs> I hate that stuff. My son wait till it comes out for Xbox One for forty dollars because there's nothing else to buy. But I won't ever play. I don't understand it. I, I guess I'm too old. I don't understand Minecraft. I'm you build things right with now. blocks, dude. It's what called Legos. If I want to build shit with Digital blocks, Legos, I'd buy man. some Legos. That's what I would do. You know, at least. Mine, it's mine. Do you have? Do you have mines with Legos? <laughs> Mine? Oh, yeah. You just got served. <laughs> yeah, that's right, buddy. 
Mojang just paid me like $2 million to say that. <laughs> Damn, man. What's up? Hey, oh, I'm out. Yes, I'm, getting my paycheck. What's, uh, what's new in the PS4 world, man? Like, what what do they got in the game store yeah, right what do you now? Guys, on the, what the do you PS4? guys got coming out for the PS4 that we don't have on the Xbox? I don't think there's much for, you know, I don't, I think r- right now everything's coming out on both consoles. Besides Infamous, it seems like anything that's going to come out for a little bit is going to be on both consoles. You're going to have to wait for the exclusives to start to work themselves into the system. Did you uh, Did you play Killzone? Did you play Warface? Did you play, uh, what's that other exclusive? Warface yeah. is on Xbox. Oh, not Warf- no. Warframe. I Warframe. I, um, uh, I, little spaceship I shooter, that. whatever that's called. That play GC Universe about. Online. That's okay. That I know a lot of people like it, but I, don't, I just wasn't feeling it. Well, I said the game earlier, Towerfall. Have you played that? No, I haven't played Towerfall. It's, it's, but that's more of a couch co-op game, and I have no one to play game games with. I want to get on Craigslist, and you know, like I need someone to play Towerfall with. Come over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that's more of a um, two two player in person type of game. So I am. I got a question. You got a PS4, right? And you can watch all the streams that happen on on like on PlayStation 4, you know, from Twitch and all that shit. Yeah. There's been a lot of articles lately from Kotaku and other gaming websites saying that there's a lot of people having sex <laughs> with the PlayStation camera and streaming it. Is this true? Have you come across any of this shit? <laughs> Just because I have a PS4 doesn't mean I'm having sex on camera, man. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm oh, not God. saying you. You are. But I'm saying, have, but have you, we have just have you come you across you know these streams? <laughs> no, I heard, yeah, I've heard of that playroom and, and a lot that playroom where the cameras got you on the camera and you got the little robots and your yeah, I've heard a lot of bad shit about that. Oh, Is this true? Wait, what? Yeah, this, it's like a um, it's like a what do you like an AR game? You just you're you're sitting wherever you are with the camera and you have you have robots. When you look at the TV at the camera, you got robots in there. You can smack them around, move them, and oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Draw like a beach ball and just send it to your it, PS4 it, and it'll pop up on your screen. Then you can bounce that around. Is it 1080p? It's 1480p. <laughs> Is it 60 FPS? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so y'all were talking about the 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 FPSs. Well, my son just got the Titanfall for the uh, 360. Do you know that you can actually go in there and set it at 30 frames per section, um, second? Oh, uh, so I you could no, down it and game. set it. Yeah, so it does it. Well, 30 FPS. I well, I heard, I, heard, I heard that the 360 runs at a, between 30 and like, was it 30 yeah, and 40? Yeah, but you can set it where it's just going to run just at 30, so there's none of that hiccuping like we see on the Xbox One. Yeah, that screen tearing and stuff? Yeah. So there's actually a hidden, I've gone in there and done it on his, so it, so it always looks smooth. Why can't we do it on the Xbox One? The cloud? The cloud. I think we. Why can't we have some sort of little uh, option to lock it at 30 fps? Like, yeah, you know, that screen tearing actually drives me kind of nuts. Like some some days that I, it doesn't bother me, but other days it's all I can see, and I'm like, man, this is ridiculous. How how have they not fixed this shit? Yeah, like when you jump out of your um your ship in the beginning, when you all jump out the very beginning of the match, when you're uh-huh. when you're falling, it's just screen tear. If I could lock it at 30 FPS, I might do it just to get rid of that, and it would probably still feel good. I mean, back, back I remember back in the day, I don't know if it was like Modern Warfare 2. It was one of those games, but they were advertising 30 FPS, like lock 30 FPS. Like, it was it was the shit, you know? And nowadays, people are like, put 30 FPS. I would not play that. Can any of you all tell a difference between, like, 30 and 60? Yes. FPS? Yeah, you could, you could. I mean, when you're playing, when you're playing games like Call of Duty, you can definitely tell a difference. It's just the way the gun, the guns move, the way it, it looks. I mean, you play Battlefield Four from the 360 and the Xbox One. You see, or even from Battlefield, from Battlefield Four to Battlefield Three, you see a big difference in, in the way the guns are, and the way you pull up your guns, and the way it's just the smoothness of it. Everything looks so much better. You know what runs really good is Plants vs. Zombies on the Xbox One. Is that good? It runs really smooth all the time. Is anybody is anybody playing that stuff? No, I played it for four days. It was fun. 
<laughs> right. It was four days. It was really. Cool. I had a lot of so fun, you, and then I forgot. So I you spent so you spent forty dollars for four days. Is that what you're telling me? Dollars a day, man. I can't even do that at the movie theater. That's true. I guess. I mean, yeah. plus I, I get that Best Buy discount, so it was really thirty-two bucks. Games for a goal, buddy. Eight years from now, I'll be playing that game. Next year, <laughs> dude. It was no, fun. For the, well, what do you think that the the first game for gold for Xbox One will be? Uh, that look. Like a local cycle. Max, dude. Max, Curse of Brotherhood. Rob, you think you think Max? Yeah. Max is a good game, man. I really like that game. Striker. I think it'll be good. I think that that new guy was his name Spencer. I think he is um, moving things forward for Microsoft. So I think he will undo a lot of the damage that's been done in the last year because he's what focused, if they, he's focused on the right thing. What if they release Rise? As a game with gold. Already had it, already played it. I've already played it and beat it. Mm. I think that's what, a good idea. Yeah. What? You think people will not jump on that? I think people it's going to be Spartan Assault. On. A Spartan Assault is going to be the first oh, games for gold on the... I'm over that game myself, but some people love it. Spartan Assault? I never played it. It looks like... It's pretty it's fun to play on my phone, but like it, it feels like a mobile game. It doesn't feel like I should be playing it on my console. Is it like fifteen bucks on the console? It's ten now. It dropped price drop. Well, because nobody's buying this shit. What the fuck? Yeah, free should be free, huh? It's like it's like that Angry Birds. I can't believe they released that shit for forty bucks <laughs> on the console. Uh, that's in- that's incredible. That's that's just a fucking cash grab. Next thing you know, it'd be Candy Crush, forty bucks. Yeah. Have you guys seen that news about Watch Dogs releasing 1080p on the X on the PS4? But they're not sure, or they're okay. not locked in. It's not the, going it's, to make a difference. It'll be no. 720p on the Xbox. You think so, or you think it'll be 900p? 900. 900? Yeah, I think 900. It's not too. going to make a difference. I mean, unless you have an over. Why? Why? Why is it not going to make a difference? What about you, IMs? I mean, I want to know this. Why do people care so much about these fees? Because all these gaming <laughs> websites they jump on this shit, man. They okay. jump on this. Like, it's nothing else. Like, the okay. end of the world. Okay, I had Call of Duty uh, Ghosts on the PS4. I didn't have any friends on my friends list that play it, because most of my friends I play with are on the Xbox One, so I sold that version, and I got the Xbox One version. You could tell a difference between the two versions, because I played on the on the PS4 for, you know, a couple weeks, and then when I traded and went to the Xbox, you can tell a difference in the resolution. Now, for instance, like if I did, never played the PS4 difference, uh, the PS4 version, I wouldn't know the difference. To be honest with you, I mean, but if you play both games, you could tell the difference. And it, how big's your TV? Uh, 50 inch LED. Can I sit approximately five feet from it? So I mean, it all depends. And you know, that does depend on how far you sit back from it, because if you sit the proper distance. So, so, so me, I sit from my TV like literally like. <laughs> One, two, three <laughs> feet away. This is how far I am from a TV right now. Actually, you, I'm looking at you guys on my TV because I have the HDMI wire connected to my laptop. And uh, this is how far I game on my TV, dude. Am I missing out on something? Should I sit farther back? Yeah, the further, Definitely. If you sit Absolutely. further back. Actually, if you go online and just search the proper like sitting distance from what um, size of a TV you have, you can, yeah. if you sit further back, you're not going to see as much jagged edges. What I will say, if, if if you're seeing me and Brink in, in full HD, fuck, you're a lucky man. That is yeah. true. You guys are 1080p right now. Yeah. I mean, you know. I'm also, jealous. Calibrate your TV, man. That makes a huge difference. Same. I have done that. I've done that more than once. Though. I've done it like three times already. Doesn't the dude. Xbox have, have its own built-in one? No, you can go on the Xbox settings and actually go to calibrate HD TV. Yeah, yeah. And it'll tell, it'll tell you the settings to put on your TV oh, to make okay. it look better. okay. Hey, can I uh, say two uh, random off-topic things? Because I got my Xbox One fired up right now, and I have, I have two things to say. The first thing is uh, there are more Lego games than anything else in the store right now, <laughs> which is ridiculous. On the Xbox? On the Xbox, yes. There's Lego The Hobbit, uh, the the movie, Lego The Movie Game, and then the Lego Lego Marvel Action Heroes game, which is crazy. And uh, the second, I actually want to play those. The second thing is... They need more gamer picks because there's yes. just not enough of them. You, 
Yeah, I'll agree with you on that one. But the thing is, I don't see people using their avatar as much as they did on the 360, man. Yeah, well, I mean, because there's the avatar. I don't even know why they threw the avatar in Xbox One. It's in there, but it's all buried. Because of the Wii? The gamer picks look dope, though. They just need more of them. Yeah, there is a lot of really cool pictures in there. But the only reason we have avatars is because of the Wii. Yeah, probably. Well, yeah. Why, why, why is the Wii have like avatars now? Oh, they do have those little, little avatars. Little me, oh. yeah. And everybody was all about that, and that's why they brought it to the 360. No matter what I do, my avatar still looks dumb as hell. Like, there's nothing I can do to make it not look dumb as hell. Well, it looks like you, so that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> if I look like Optimus Prime, dude, that's your life. Get all up on this. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, you know. shit. You enjoyed that way too much. <laughs> Not everybody can be this sexy, so if you're jealous, I understand. I am. I am so jealous. You know, dude, with you guys, I think feel like we could do like a six-hour podcast. No one would listen to the sixth hour, but I feel like we could just go forever. I do, man, and I do, and um. I don't know. It's crazy. So anything else that happened at PAX that you guys want to talk about? Any announcements from anybody? I think over the next couple of days we'll we'll see a little bit more. I hope so? so? Isn't it over today? Yeah, it's over tomorrow, I think. I think over the next couple of days we're not going to see very much more. Nah, <laughs> everyone's holding out for E3, I think. PAX is always pretty quiet. So. PAX is for the public know. to get in there and just put their hands on new stuff. Yeah, what do you think about that Charles Fusion being forty dollars for the physical copy and comes with the season pass and twenty dollars for the digital copy? Do you think they should have made it twenty dollars also for the physical copy without a season pass? Uh, I I don't know. That's a good way to you know for the people who want the physical copy, which I think it's a lot of people still they're forced into getting that season pass, so they might do it. I, to be honest, I think that's. You know, that's what it is. If I was to buy that game, I have it in my Gamefly cube. But if I was to buy it, I would go for the physical copy and I'd be forced to do the season pass. Do you think so? If I want to buy a game that I know I'm going to play just once in a while, I'd throw it in, you know, whatever. Why would I want a season pass? That's true. That means you go digital. You just buy digital. So then it's pushing you towards the buying digital what if, so what they if win. You're not, what, if, what if you're not a digital person? You're a person that wants to trade your games in. Well, then you're buying the full price and getting the season pass. You can sell the season pass on Craigslist for, for 15 and then you actually get in the game for 25 There you go. Yeah, I guess. I, don't know, <laughs> I have no way to answer that question, man. I think it's a loaded question. That is a loaded question. <laughs> also, Harmonix had Marnix over at a, at a, this PAX thing. They said they have new plans for reviving Rock Band and Dance Central. Oh, that's right. Is anybody Xbox interested in Rock Band? I know a couple of people are, but... Are they the ones doing Fantasia? Oh, the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, I heard the Fantasia, Fantasia was, game, because that game was badass. That looks like the first game that's going to make you want to have a connect. I don't know. If there's Dance Central on um, Xbox One, I'm, I'm like, all about Twitch. I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. enough of it. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. officially a Twitch addict. <laughs> <laughs> Damn man, we're gonna have to watch you live. But yeah, I mean, all right. So, so what are you guys gonna be gaming this week for the community to actually? Actually, we're up to fifty-two members, guys. We're over 50 in less than a week. That is a big achievement, I think, for for us. You know, somebody we we started this podcast a week ago, and a few days before that, we didn't think we could do this. And we've come together now, and we've made episode two. And we're up to 52 members. It's just a lot of people in a week, man. Most of them, and, I, I got 50 people in my family. So, I mean, are the two other people that are actually listening <laughs> to <them. laughs> the, the, the two people who actually download. Yeah. Um, well, actually, Rob, you know, you have any, any updates on, like, can you track the downloads or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I should be able to this week. All going well. Um, just, yeah, setting up the statistics is being a part of the issue that I've had this week, but uh, hope to be able to. But then we can't really. We don't 
Well, we can monitor it through iTunes as well. So, I mean, we're out there. Um, I will hopefully have some stats next week. It's to get the word of mouth out and deal with our structureless podcast for now. We will get, we will just be more professional over time. Actually, you know, this is a lot of fun. I just like to talk to you guys. You guys are, yeah. are fun dudes just to hang out with, you know. So I forget what podcast is an yeah, and I'm the same way. I mean, we could go to a structured podcast and become all rigid, you know, and, and just go straight down the line nope. and talking about random, you know, the specific stuff like news and news and news and news and news. But I prefer just talking with topics, you know, that we come up with on the show as we just go along with it because I feel like we can actually just talk about well, them. The first way us- that's what we get from the community. It was, uh, you know... Should we have this? And everybody's like, no, just talk about random stuff and just go with this, it. This group of people cannot be structured, but that's kind of what's beautiful <laughs> about it. You know, that's why it, that's why it's awesome. Not even if we yeah, wanted man. to, right? It would be terrible. I'm just saying <laughs> that right now. It would be terrible. And you guys, if you we, guys know you if love we were stuff. structured, if we were structured, this podcast would be very boring. We wouldn't be talking about shit. You know, it would be a very boring podcast. And, um, I like the way it's going right now. I like, and I know our community likes the way it, it it's going. And I hope we get more feedback from them. And like I'm saying, we're open to feedback, guys. If you think we fucking suck, if you think we're garbage, and you think we should stop this, let us know, and we'll try to make some changes if, hey, if we want. We're to. Uh, we're gonna work on getting on Twitch too. You know, we're all new to this. We're uh, we're just getting going with with this whole this whole thing. So just give us, give us time to, to get things sorted out and get the logistics, you know? Yep. So what are you guys going to be playing this week? So the community can catch you playing these games. You know what? Hey, let me go over some, uh, releases for next week. So let's get that out of the way. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, there's a couple of games I'm not, I'm not really too familiar about, but Max curse of the brotherhood is actually coming to PC next week. Uh, war of the Vikings is coming to PC. There's, 24 Brazil coming to PS3. Conception 2, uh, Children of the Seven Stars, that's coming to 3DS and Vita. Yes! <laughs> Ethan Meteor Hunter is coming to the Vita. It's for you, Brink. <laughs> Final Fantasy 14 Around Reborn is coming to the PS4. So if you guys want your MMO on the PS4 and you want to pay that extra money every month, I say jump in on it. And um, Trial Fusion is coming on everything 360, PS3. Xbox One, PS4. I think the PC is coming out next week, or it might have been pushed back a week. I'm not sure. I got two things on that. And there's actually a final Borderlands 2 DLC, Sir Hamelock versus the Son of Cromerux. That's for you, Jesus. Three bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys gonna? Do you guys plan on buying that that uh, that trials DLC, that trials game coming out? It's in my game view. It's in my game fly queue. I'll actually, I'll rent it. Check it out. I played the first trials. It's it's okay. I'm not very good at those games, so it's uh, mm. you know. I find it awkward. But I'm not a big fan of those games, but oh well, I'll try it. <laughs> so no, nobody's down for it, but they might try it. <laughs> That's I'm pretty good. Look at pictures of it. There's nothing else to really play, man. I mean, we got Titanfall. A hey, hey, Titanfall. How how long have we talked about Titanfall? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hate about this, man. We talk about Titanfall every week like it's this fucking awesome game, but we're all getting burned out on it, and I am. I, I really am. I'm getting to the point where I'm not really enjoying that game. When every time I play it, I'm like, well, I'm just playing this, whatever. Still going to play uh-huh. it later. Mm. I'm actually, tonight, tonight, and actually this whole week, I plan to play a little bit more Tomb Raider multiplayer and Battlefield. If anybody wants to jump on that with me, go ahead and add me or send me a message on Xbox Live, Jesus Walks a Lot. And, uh, Just, hey, um, we still gotta do that that Megalodon thing, man. Get oh that yeah. Oh, yeah. Water. All right, and Xbox record that, man. We are gonna do that tonight. Damn right. So, um, everybody wanna call out, wrap this up. Grab yeah, I think we should. Up. I hope hope the listeners, you know, subscribe to us on iTunes, subscribe to us on your podcast feed. We're up on Stitcher Radio. We're up on YouTube. You guys want to subscribe to us on that? You guys want to follow us on Twitter at Horrible Gamers Podcast and uh, 
get on us on Facebook at Horrible Gamers Podcast as well. Um, you can find me on Xbox Live, Jesus Walks a Lot, on Twitch, Jesus Walks a Lot. On Twitter, you can find me at JWA on Xbox Live because someone else took Jesus Walks a Lot on there. That's some bullshit. Um, Beat their ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm a chick. Captain Hook, CPTN, Space Hook on Xbox Live. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Captain Hook, no space, CPTN Hook. Uh, 13 on Twitter, um, same thing. Uh, look me up. Uh, again, shout out to my friend uh, Bobby Hooks for uh, doing the... Bobby Hooks. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. 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 Bobby Hicks. He gets all the credit intro. for the music. Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Um, but uh, yeah, look me up. I'm always on Titanfall right now, but uh, pretty much always on on the weekend. We paid Bobby a good a good amount of money for that song. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a, it's a good catchy song. Thanks, you can Bobby. find me. Uh, look for me on Facebook, Sean Fuller, or I'm They Call Me Imes. On Xbox and PlayStation, and uh, yeah, please get into our Facebook group. Join just to say hi. We'll say hi back, definitely. So, and if you have any questions you want read on here, we'll do the best we can. And also to our community, if you guys have any topics you guys want want us to talk about specifically, a certain thing you guys want us to talk about, you know, let us know and we'll talk about those things. Hey Rob, so, yeah. Um, find us on Twitter as well for where are we Tw- Horrible Gamers podcast I think no just Horrible Gamers on Twitter that's where I am I'm, I'm mostly the person tweeting out through there I, I you can find me on Xbox Tehran NZ um, otherwise just hook, hook us up through the Facebook group as everyone's mentioned and, and the website no the website is not that complete right yet but it will be <clears throat> uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys for letting me to be a part of this. It's been a blast. I'm super excited about the future where things go. Uh, you can find me on Xbox Live Brink of Eternity, and thank you everybody for listening. Yes, thank you. Thank you everybody. We appreciate it, and uh, we hope to catch you next week. Yes. Right.